Hello, 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 and welcome to Q&A Thursday. Mm. We are so excited to have everybody here. Joining me today is the master of shine himself, Mr. Levi Gates. Thank you, Anthony. I appreciate that. feels good to be here. It does feel good to be here, Levi. And you guys might be wondering where the guy in the middle is, Mr. Dane Jeffrey Hennon, the man, the myth. The legend, that guy right now is somewhere at home with a little bit of an upset stomach, stomach and we kind of feel bad for him because he's been dealing with it for a couple days, and he said it's just better for almost everybody if you were to stay home. Well, and the thing is, Dane has an iron gut. He does. He almost never is stopped. Never. You know, we travel, we get ready to get on a transatlantic flight. Yep. Dane Hennon's like, sausage, peppers. Every single hot sauce Literally known to man. Literally standing in line, eating a chorizo burrito before we jump on a flight. And I say, and we're stuck on a plane for 10 hours. Doing? And he's like, what, I'm having lunch. Or I'm getting breakfast. Well, so that's just another that reason man, why we love his daring nature. Yeah, we go on these trips. Yep. And he's, you guys know, enjoying Red Bulls mm-hmm. and, uh, and, and Slim, Slim Jims. Jims. Yeah. So the man can consume anything and not be affected. Yeah, so typically. when it hits him, it hits him. It hits him. So, so um, thoughts our, and prayers. Our thoughts and prayers go out to Mr. Dane Hennon. He's going to be in the chat today. Uh, where he's chatting from, nobody will know. But I'm assuming yeah. it's going to be in Hopefully the it's massage from a, chair. Yeah, that that'd be the best case for everybody. Yeah, it's just, just chilling out in the massage chair. Maybe he's got sassy on his lap. Maybe he's got Callie at his feet. Who he's knows? just enjoying the us afternoon. on the big screen as well, and I, us I on the big screen that. right there, ready to rock and roll. So, so um, anyway, we have a lot of housekeeping, right? We have a lot. We have, of we have a lot of bags that were unbagged today, um, and hopefully everything will start to make a lot more sense now. So uh, earlier this week, we had changed over many of our social media logos mm-hmm. to something a little different, something that was perhaps misspelled, maybe something a little different, and um, people freaked out. There was torches. There was pitchforks. uh, There was like glass being broken. (laughs) It was insane. I've never seen a mob mentality like We walked upstairs and Thomas was literally making his own Molotov cocktails. He was. It was And I said, that's a full can of gasoline. And he's like, and he goes, you can never be too careful when the the mob shows up. Yeah. He goes, I'm just getting ready. Because of course, he's a second story window. Yeah. Perfect uh, placement for launching those Molotov Mm -hmm. cocktails at folks. When When the people came... We're coming. No, to, we're, not, uh, we're not wanting to hurt these people, just to really no, scare was, them away. Keep, keep them back. Yeah, keep right? them back. Yeah. So anyway, it was pretty crazy, but uh, hopefully everything will make more sense now. So yes, we are going for a uh, Iphanes and Co. <laughs> I can't actually say what we're doing because uh, I'm afraid of the potential legal action might happen. But Iphanes and Co. Um, TRC kind of theme is what we were going for. And uh, it's really fun. We changed over all of our logos and we have some awesome uh, ads that are hopefully being kind of displayed out based around what we've done here. And uh, thank you to everybody that kind of made this possible. It wasn't just the marketing team. It was the media team. It was the web development team. And obviously everybody in the shipping and packing department that is fulfilling everything from this sale. Yeah, the team is... Uh, they. I went in there. They've got like three tables filled with the... Uh, kits, yeah, ready for a grab and go kind of situation. Pretty nuts. They're prepped and ready to rock for the sale. So uh, you're probably wondering what's the sale all about. So Nick's gonna go ahead and pull up the website, up the website right Nick. now because right now at the ragcompany.com we have 25 percent off select brands plus limited kits from now through 213, which is gonna be uh, next Monday here. Now we've gone ahead and created some kits, some special kits, which include the uh, stay in kit and the go out kit. This is gonna contain pretty much everything you would need to knock out an interior detail or an exterior detail to a certain degree. Yeah. Right? We'll call it a, a maintenance clean. Uh, but they're really cool kits. They're gonna contain all the cool stuff that you probably saw in uh, last night's video or this morning's mm-hmm. video that we launched. Uh, so for example, the go out kit's gonna have bubbler in it, Shine All, Dream Maker, the new Ultra Utility Brush. It's gonna have the Teal Eagle 450s, which we are only doing for this sale. Yeah, you can't, you can, it's an Amazon exclusive only. So uh, the fact the, that we've got them in our 
in our packages is even more insane. We had to pull some strings, but we really wanted to make that happen. And so we got the eagles in here just to match with the color scheme. Um, and then also we're doing detail factory brushes for the interior. We got the VLB, True View, All Surface Cleaner, and just a ton of towels to use at your fingertips for all sorts of interior cleaning. Now, if we'll scroll down a little bit further here, Nick. We have some pretty cool stuff as well for the downtown special, Ooh. baby. This right here is probably one of my favorite things. And you probably will know who wrote the description once you click into everything because I, I think it's somewhat <laughs> obvious. But uh, what you're going to get here is not just teal eagles, but you're going to get teal eaglets. Yeah. And you heard that correctly. These are Eaglet 450s here. And these are a very, very limited run of these small little Eaglets that we sell on a day-to-day -day basis. But the 450 here, it's just a beautiful towel. It's nice in the size. Uh, but we're including the bottle of Stekata inside this package here. Now, the bow is not I'm reading the Are you reading the description? <laughs> I love so, it. Oh, my gosh. Um, I thought it was I don't funny. know if Jack has <laughs> read the description, I but I he hope he has. is. Jack, he said he was going to tune in. I need you to go to the website and read the downtown <laughs> kit because it is amazing. So, um, But uh, the bow is not included, unfortunately. I wish we had more bows. But, um, yeah, anyways, whether you're going out for a night on the town, maybe you forgot your deodorant, a couple of spritzes of the Stekata will get you sorted. It'll make all things right in your life, and uh, it smells amazing. <laughs> so, anyway. <laughs> Do you love it that much? I do love it. That's okay. so good. So well, Nick, we got to go back to the website. I wasn't. I wasn't done yet. To back to the, just back to the main page here. Huh. Um, <laughs> to go just go back, and then huh. we have twenty five percent off select brands, which include Diamond Protect twenty five percent off, Incredible yeah. Detail Factory twenty five percent off, G Technic twenty five percent off. And for the first time ever, yeah. MTM at 25%. That's a off. huge deal. We've so never if done you've been MTM wanting to get into the PF22 kits, if you wanted to get yep. any of the other products that we stock, you could hop yeah. in there and That's a, make yeah, a killing. Incredible savings on all of that. So hopefully you guys will pick that up. And then also, every single order going out during the sale is going to be coming with our limited edition blue sticker here. So we can cut back to me here, Nick, for yeah. a nice close-up shot of this bad boy and this cool matte finish. This is awesome. It's very similar to what we did for uh, the Christmas sale, which mm -hmm. is a high quality vinyl sticker. And it's got this just and They're nice... all laminated, so they've got a, they last for- Yeah, it's got some, yeah, UV protection. Incredible there. long time. And I just think it's sweet looking, man. Yeah. It's just super, super cool. Now on top of that, the limited t-shirts, um, or I should say long sleeves that are on the website right now. Yeah. Uh, the RAG CMP. A and Y, mm -hmm, right? It's mm -hmm. not misspelled. It's creative. It's artistic, right? right? Yeah. And it's going to spark a conversation, right? Maybe you're a single person going out for the night on the town. You get, give yourself a couple sprays of the Stekata. You're going into a bar and somebody says, hey, your shirt's spelled wrong. And you go, let's talk about it. Let's and they it. go, you smell good. Yeah. And you go, let's talk about that, right? And they go, well, and then you go, do you want to see my car? And they're like, absolutely. They go, this is detailed to perfection. And, and it go, smells good. And it smells good. Well, that's the stay in kit for you. <laughs> let's just say you might find love. Because Hope, of these products, I've never right had here. that happen, but that well, it, it could be pretty rad. Well, Levi, could be I pretty mean, amazing. You know, it, it, you know, we're we're trying to we're trying to cater to a little bit of a different audience. I like here, it, right? So uh, anyway, we hopefully you guys hopefully you guys love everything that we've done here. It's really fun. So, but I wanted um, to add one yeah. more thing that we're gonna do. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay. So as you guys see, we got the Stekata, You get the kit. Mm. You get the eaglets. Should we just do you one, know one little spritz of that? Of course. Yeah. Okay. Set the mood. Just to set the mood. Oh my so, God, get that in got here. the Stekata. You can pick that up. You can enjoy that. Yeah. But here's something that we're going to give you. Oh my gosh. Okay. If you place an order during the sale, mm -hmm. did you taste some of the Stekata in your mouth when you did I that? I did while I was drinking. <laughs> that was. So, we've got in. the newest fragrance from Stierna Gloss, Chanette. Oh my God. Is it Chanette or Skunet? Skunet. Skun, Skunhet? Skun, Shunet. Skunhet? Skunhet. I don't know. It's, uh, uh, it's Norwegian. So we have Skunet, Shunet. Basically, you will get a free bottle Ooh, my gosh. Okay. of Shanet randomly if you give us your best pickup line Ooh. in the comments of your order. So hit, that's what you got to do. Love that. Now, if the packing team finds your pickup line, yeah alluring or mm. they're intrigued and they want to learn more yeah they will throw a bottle of chanette yep 
in your order. Starting now. Starting now. Starting now. The second they start getting an order that has a great pickup line. It's got to be good. you got to remember. Gotta like, be, Try hard here. I mean. We don't have an unlimited sauce. We're not putting in every order. It's literally going to be random. No. So honestly, we have a very, I mean, when I say limited, I mean just double, di- low double digits of the Chanette here with the diamond flake in here. And we don't have a lot of it. So how, well, I think what do you, it's, a, it's like a well, silver flake. Basically, it's like 20 people. Basically. If so, you can, if you can give us the best pickup line that the ladies over there find, or the, la- or the men, or the men, or the men, what, hey, find whatever. humorous. Yeah. Hey, you might get rewarded. Yeah, and right? so you're going to be not only getting the Chanette, but you're also going to be getting some Eaglet 450s as well. So yep. it's going to be a total giveaway thing. It's meant to be fun, but you, your order's got to start now, mm-hmm. and your pickup line's got to start now. That's right. And it's just it's a limited thing. So once we run out, we run out. There's, there's not going to be really any way we can tell people that. So um, if your yeah. order has one, awesome. Enjoy it. Spray it. Just embrace Embrace all of the the pheromones and everything that's going to come with that mm-hmm. scent. Uh, and if you don't get it, know that we tried. Or, yeah. Or maybe your pickup. Well, and remember that you know, like we said, the stecata is more of a masculine scent. Mm-hmm. The chanette is more of a feminine scent. It's feminine, but I still like it. It smells great. It smells fantastic, and um, the be- it gets better with time too. It does. That's one of my favorite. It grows things. on you. Like like I think that with the uh, the stecata there. It, once you spray it, it's amazing. It's always amazing. You spray the Chanette here. The first, you're like, okay, it's kind of, it's kind of, you know, women's mm-hmm. fragrancy. But then it just gets kind of more dark and deep. Yeah. And it's got layers. It's got layers. It's got layers. And it's the layers will come off as layers go on, right? Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So That's how it let's works. go ahead and jump into some. Ladies questions. and gentlemen, it is. Friday Eve, yep. and we're getting ready for Q&A Thursday. Shelby saying, happy Friday Eve, guys. Loading up my cart for the sale. I need to add a tire dressing to my lineup. Should I go with the Shine All or the T1? It will be used on my truck, side-by-side, and trailer. Shelby, ease of use, I would say Shine All, because mm-hmm. you can actually, I find I dilute Shine All. Yeah. So I dilute it one-to-one with water, put it yeah. in like an IK sprayer, and it lasts a very long time. It goes on very easy. Uh, you can spray it on, let it sit, come back, knock it down, or you can just spray it into an applicator and apply it. That's true. And get some great shine. What do you think, Anthony? Um, I think both are great. They are I great. Think I think they're both awesome. Gumi's also one of my favorites. What's nice is shine all comes in the exterior kit. Yep. So you could knock out two birds with one stone there. Ooh, right. Pick up Stock a kit. Up. Uh, we have Grant Hotry saying, day 777, ants take and bake personal pizza and goose jerky made fresh on site on a monthly basis by using my family's back flesh and wounds cured with lime and chili salt to give that authentic Tony's flavor. Tony's flavor. Oh, my God. <laughs> and, and, of uh, course, please like, please share, and subscribe to all TRC content. <laughs> Thank you, Grant. Well, I appreciate that. Uh, now, uh, page three here. We've got a uh, hello and Ed happy uh, Valentine's Eve to you all. Uh, thank you, Ed. And then we got Let's Go from uh, Wesley Snipes here. And then we have uh, Raphael saying, Let's Go. What's up, TRC gang? I'm exhausted at work, but hyped for Q&A. Much love from sunny Arizona. What's up, Raphael? Enjoy, man. And then uh, Alex Duar, happy Friday Eve. Praying for Grant and his family for needing a post-personal mm. pan pizza bathroom experience as they, are too, they too are lactose intolerant. Yeah, it gets the best of us, right? <laughs> Ricardo B. says, what's up, TRC crew? Will you be selling the IK ergonomic grip separately for those who already have the multi-tier one spare? So unfortunately, Ricardo, we reached out to IK and we asked them the same question. They said, not at this time. I don't know if it's a stock issue. I don't know if it's a production thing, but they just don't have the extras to be distributing yeah, at right the moment. Now. So yeah. in the future, hopefully. Franco says, woo, what's up, homies? And then we have Jason M says, hey, boys, have a 2011 white Mazda that has been neglected. Needs a one step, but the paint is really dirty and I don't want to muck up my pads. How can I clean the paint better prior to polishing? So I have a video. We have a video on that. I thought you were going to talk about the virgin wash solution. That's one of them. Okay. But right. uh, decon wash, we've got a video where I decon wash a uh, an a- Audi yeah. wagon that yeah. had never been washed. Yeah. And the paint was rough and dirty and grimy and just it never been cared for yeah. properly. Um, so a couple things. You want to use a high pH soap. You want to use a degreaser or an all-purpose cleaner on the surface first. Let that stuff break up. Uh, wash the car. 
soap it, scrub it. Use an iron remover to mm-hmm. to to chemically strip the surface, and then use a clay bar or clay towel or clay scrubber to clean the surface. Do a mechanical decontamination, and then once you get to there, you bust out my old standby. The uh, virgin wash solution known as lacquer thinner. Yeah. You can wipe down all that paint with the lacquer thinner and remove any sap, tar, uh, excess overspray, any of that kind of stuff on the white paint. So wipe the paint. Use a, properly use a white towel with that so you're not putting any random colors into your white. Um, and then start on your buffing process. I would recommend in this situation the Rupes coarse wool. Uh, blue wool and some last cut would be your perfect combo to get started with. You could do just a quick one step with that if you'd like, or you could use Uno Protect mm-hmm. and give yourself a, a perfect all in one situation where you got a little bit of cut, some clean ability, cleaning ability, and then you've got some protection as well on top of that. Wipe couldn't, it down with some bead maker, more, yeah. like Anthony likes to do, and you're ready to yeah. rock. You gotta and make it pure. Dane Hennen. Well, Let's go, good. people. Yeah. Ooh, unfortunately not there, but wishing everyone a great show. Thanks, Dane. We're wishing you all the luck as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, my guy Kirby saying afternoon to the TRC crew and viewers from Houston, Texas. And we have Brilliant Detailing LLC, Levi. Hey, guys, if you don't have the pearl towel, which towel will be your next choice for ceramic coating, leveling, or moving? Edgeless 300s. Edgeless 300, yep, or 365 if you mm-hmm. need to bust that out, but the pearls are one of the best. AM Details, Alan. Alan in the house. Saying boom. Uh, high five. Then uh, Larry Singleton says, uh, Jason M, use a paint cleanser on that dirty paint. Yep. And then we have uh, the Bearded Hunter, Grand Ambassador, runner up for the best photos. Ooh. I want to see, see more of our runners up in here. I, yeah. gotta, I know Heather's busy at Auto Care HQ. I'm glad to see that the Bearded Hunter is in here. I know Clean Start usually is pretty busy mm-hmm. as well, but it may be perfect detail. Mr. Grand Bastard of the Year can hop in, right? Maybe, yeah. Uh, but, you know, I, well, that one, needless to say, we know Darren's in here somewhere. Yeah, he's swimming. Darren's waiting. He's swimming. The heart of TRC has to be swimming in here. Uh, Bearded Hunter says, what's up, my dudes? Hope you're all doing well. I'm really loving Absolute as a drying aid for DB36. Detailing any cool cars this weekend? Oh, man. Caleb White. Are, are you? Uh, me? Yeah. yeah, I'm doing Francie's stuff, the guy that makes our stickers. What are you doing for him? What are you doing? What? One of his cars. Which one? I don't know. They're both. He's got a, I think it's either his wife's minivan or his truck. Mm. Do they still have that one truck, that, that sweet one with the LS in it? No, he sold his black truck. Dang, that thing was nasty. The thing would eat transmissions. It would eat people. Yeah, t- turbo, six liter. Yeah. But it was like uh, was this big around. It was pro charge, this yeah. big around on a six yeah, liter. Yeah, pro charge. All wheel drive. Dude, that was, truck was a monster. It was wild. Um, I don't think I'm detailing anything cool this week. And I need to clean my motorcycles. That's what I need to do. Hopefully, so. it'll be nice and warm. Um, Caleb White says, hello from cloudy North Carolina, working outside in the cool 58 degree weather. What a day. With the Honda Civic there. That's sweet. Franco says, the bearded hunter sups up. Here we go, Levi. Alex saying, excited for the next Satisfying Saturday featuring G. Davis's teenage crush, Audrey Hepburn from the 1961 hit film Breakfast at Tiffany's. Hey, there's no, <laughs> uh, yeah, there's no denying that. Um, uh, Han yeah. saying, hello, hello boys. boys. And Bobby K saying, oh, Franco saying, no Dane. Sorry, forgot about that one. And then Bobby K saying, great episode on cleaning those fender liners oh. Anthony mentioned different needs for coating rough carpet style liners ie not using solution finish do you have a product to recommend for this step those carpet liners oh man I don't know I so I think the problem those carpet liners it's not real carpet obviously it's a synthetic plastic that is it's maybe like it's like probably propylene I don't know what the actual material is but if you were to spray a coating onto that, right, to coat it to make maybe make things more hydrophobic, it would have to be able to like really sit well without mm-hmm. you know just getting sunk into that that liner. Yeah, you know what I mean. And so I don't know, like unless the car was new or you'd done a crazy deep clean and dried everything out, maybe you could spray a coating into there, meaning like like literally like a like a like a spray mm-hmm. like a spray like gun a, coating. Yeah. I don't know what, how else you would do that because well because fabric s- fabric coatings don't have a very long life no and I don't think they're gonna have a long life in a fen- in a fender well no not at all so you could try a fabric coating that we sell 
but I just don't know how much of it you would need to use, and I don't know if it would actually do what it's intended for with that. It's not being a, it's not with not it being a real fabric. Yeah, I don't. You'd know. almost uh, there used to be a Rust-Oleum product called Never Dry or Never Wet. Yeah, and you could spray it on fabrics on your boots and things like that, and you could uh, it would show the commercials. You would step in stuff, yeah. and everything would come off. But that was literally like spraying clear coat. Yeah, it's pretty much on your yeah. on your fabrics, and it changed the way it react. It looked, and so yeah. you could probably do that. But you've got to remember, it's you're using an aerosol. It means it's going to get on your paint. It's going to get mm-hmm. on all your stuff. So it's it, it's very difficult to say. And I I just usually err on the side of caution and go. It's designed to clean deteriorate. It. Clean it, mm-hmm. scrub it, be gentle with it. Yeah. Fido Fiber's only customer saying, "Oh no, no, Dane, this is going to be rough." Oh my God, I can't. I can't do this anymore with these meme accounts. <laughs> yeah. They're getting too real. Yeah. Alex uh, Duar saying, those hoodies, my God. Do you like this? Do you guys want me to do a little quick little walk around for the, you? Check yeah, just show so, us the back there. Hoodie here, right? Got the sweet logo, TRC and Co. there. And then... Uh, oh, snap! Back. That's some, like, real hype wear. With the gold. So these... She. To give you guys an explanation, these are a in-company... Hoodie only. We made employee made. Is exclusive. Em- employee exclusive, but de- depending on how much maybe hype or how much people would wear something like this, right? Yeah. You can let us know in the comments to maybe make it to where we can. Uh, I don't know, make it more of a business prop- proposition yeah. to uh, the uh, the man. Right? Yeah, we like to do to the, to the head honchos yeah. here at the company. We always try to do one thing for for the for outside facing and yeah. then we always try to create something for the employees to be able to wear um it gives the folks in the building the packing team you know they're anthony and i are always on the road we're always able to travel and you guys get to see us and you get to do that but not everybody gets to do that with us so having something that nobody else has only an employee of the rag company has that if we can create a little bit of hype on it it's you know cool. the team members really enjoy yeah. having nate, something nate like that. did a very good job with the design on this and I love this kind of tight mm-hmm. eye. I thought design. it came out rad. It's it's pretty sweet. Yeah. Raphael uh, says, "Hey fellas, would using a fabric coating on carpet to wheel liners so that it'd be easier to clean?" So, do I, am I seeing double? Or you probably already did. I actually probably hit no, that no, twice. no, no. That's a different question. I, yeah, we just covered that. It is. Um, yeah, that's just crazy. Dirk um, Do saying, "Hey guys, nice day." Yep. And then uh, Alex Dwar saying, Dane was ill from too many server room rotisserie chickens. <laughs> it's, like, it's those server room <laughs> rotisserie chickens that really get, get him the most. You know what I mean? Uh, it's, <laughs> it's too many cans of dust off he yeah. uses. Yeah, well, he right? blasts He's, them off to get, bl- get, yeah. the, get the <laughs> extra dirt off of them. No, the funny thing is when we first moved into this building, <laughs> Dane found a server rack at on like, he either got it from his brother or his brother got it from Marketplace or something. Yeah. And we yeah. saw it and we go, does that design for rotisserie chickens? Like, Because yeah. it looked like one of those cages you get at the store when you open up the cabinet and pull out a hot rotisserie so chicken. The joke is so. that Dane was just going to be cooking rotisserie chickens out of the server rack. <laughs> and it just became some lore yeah, that never left perfect. us. And Alex remembers. Thank you, Alex. Uh, Harry Horsewife says, oh, man, Dane, get better soon. Oh, I'm sure he will. He just he needs is. to flush his system. He does. Rafael Guzman. Hey, guys. Greetings from El Salvador. Anthony said last week the PNS Express doesn't have protection. What do you re- recommend to protect interiors after Express? Well, if you stick with PNS, so you can use multiple different things. You can use Shinol. You can use dynamic dressing. Uh, if you don't want to use, use a natural full-on, finish, you, yeah, can you can use natural finish. You can use... There are no um, rub coating. You can and, use a bunch of stuff. Yeah, and if you don't want to go with PNS, you can go with the Kosh Chemi, uh, Top Star is amazing. Um, gosh, I don't know. There's a ton of different... I mean, there's a lot of different options that have UV inhibitors built into them. But yes, mm-hmm. it, Express does not have anything. Uh, Franco says, from a flushable chair. And then we got, hello, guys, uh, from Why Wait. Uh, Darren says, I see Sterneglass, his and hers air fresheners. How do you find the ladies one? Uh, so Darren... You you have it easiest out of anybody. Yeah, you just I mean, go down there and get you it. You just go down there and go and get it. I mean, just go hit up Jack. And but I think he means how do we find the scent? Oh. How do you find it? Do you how like do you... it? Do you enjoy it? Oh, we said I we find, find it's got a lot of layers, oh, very forget. mysterious. There is a language barrier. It's English. It is it is English. The old qu- English. The Queen's English. <laughs> the Queen's English. Well, rest in peace. <laughs> um, 
so I like it. I like it a lot. I think it smells really good. Like I said, at first when I sprayed, I go, oh, that's a little bit too, you know, feminine. And then it started warming up and I go, you know what? I, I, I like this a lot. This is this is quite nice. Um, I will say the women across the street over in the in, oh my over, gosh over in uh, fulfillment and and just I mean everybody over there they literally one of our our Amazon gals I sprayed it into a towel yeah and I had everybody smell it to see what they thought everybody over there loved it yeah and then uh, Araceli literally commandeered the towel she goes can I have this yeah and I said she why and she goes I need to put this in my desk yeah. Because she just want to be able to sit at her desk and smell, smell it. it. Yeah. So needless to say, uh, the women love it, right? And so uh, as Jack would say, big, it's energy, mm-hmm. right? Yep. Um, here we go. Uh, Alan says, Alan. Uh, Dane, his room where you do business with some luxury triple ply and some cream, possibly. <laughs> Pop- probably. <laughs> Hopefully. Demo saying, love the new t-shirt. Thanks, Demo. Franco saying hello to Darren. Ed saying, we love and covet very seriously our traditional TRC logo. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then uh, Grant, Levi, WTF is up with the crew at 3D1, man. Yancey's there. Next, my, man, Mike Phillips is doing vids by himself, looking like it was shot with a three megapixel camera from 20 years ago. The man is a legend, and it's BS to see. So, yeah, yeah. Um, the only thing I know about what's been going on with uh, 3D is that uh, Yancey was there. Yancey quit. And uh, Yancey's doing kind of a freelance. Um, he was at Mobile Tech and he was running the live streams for Lake Country. Oh. Um, he's going to be doing some more stuff for Lake Country. He's kind of going to be like a, he wants to be a freelance videographer for a number of the detailing companies uh, out and available. So he's kind of like, he, he's found his worth and his value. Um, yeah, it sucks for for Mike because Yancey and Mike have been working together for long time. a long time. But uh, I'm excited to see where Yancey goes from here and what he's able to accomplish and what he's able to do. And, and it just helps because you got to remember there's not – Auto Geek with Yancey and Mike at the beginning, those were the guys that we kind of looked up to and said, wow, those guys know how to do it. We can do something similar to that. And um, it's nice that Yancey is able to go and provide his services to other companies. Yeah. So I mean, for what it's best. worth, I mean, Mike, I don't know why maybe the camera quality, I agree. I've seen the videos and I know that the camera quality is just not really up to par. And um, I don't know if it's a yeah, equipment thing or maybe a compression thing, but um, I Mike does use an Android phone, yeah. I believe. And I was like, man, if that was an iPhone, do yeah, videos he could, he could be, do some cool stuff. Be, and I know it's going to start like an Android versus iPhone war, but whatever. I don't care. <laughs> uh, anyway, so uh, hello, TRC. Hello from Ireland. I love the V-Day glossy video yesterday from Keith Jackson. Thank, Thank you, you Keith. Keith. And then Franco saying, TRC and Co., the rag company. You know company. it, baby. And then Graham Marshall, uh, evening lads, and a very bodacious Friday Eve to everyone in TRC land. Hope Dane feels better soon. We hope so too, Graham. Ed saying, feel better soon, Dane. And then Caleb, my wife left my go bag with solution finish inside her trunk for almost most of our winter. I know for a fact it froze multiple times. Do you guys think it's still usable or toss it and get a new bottle? Man. So it's hardy. I will say that. It's got a shaker ball in it. You could shake it up, but you're going to be shaking it for a while. I would probably shake it a lot. Three to five minutes, walk around but, the house shaking like, it to see if you can scenario, get it. It's just, it's not going to last very long. Yeah. That's all it it's is. It's separated too much. It'll separate too much. Maybe you want to go, you go to a restore trim and it just doesn't have the same deep, dark look. I don't think it's going to hurt anything though. Uh, Alex says the downtown kit comes with a free one month subscription to Manscaped and a free carbon shaft trimmer for Tuesday's festivities. <laughs> That's true. That is true. Very nice. Full carbon shaft, baby. Our friends at the Detail Solutions Podcast, they made it rain at Mobile Tech with Manscaped uh, crotch wipes. Oh, cool. It's quite nice. That's they were, they just, they, Alex walked up and he just, bam, threw them out. And it, John, Josh, and I, everybody was showered by those things. It crotch towels, you need them. Well, you know, it's, a, long it's day something at, long that you learn from expo. a trade show. It's yep. good to have. Uh, Great Dane Film saying, thanks, everybody, for the well wishes. I'll just hang back and watch unless they need my contributions. Just enjoy yourself, Dane. We got this. Yeah, sit back and relax. Kevin Monzon says, hello, guys. Nice video from yesterday. How to maintain Diamond Body 36 with Quick Body TRC FAQ. Thank you, Kevin, for watching that. 
And then uh, King Haswell, good afternoon, TRC. So awesome to catch this live. Oh, Thank we, you. We have a king in the house. And we appreciate it. Uh, DS says, what does Stekata smell like? Perfumey. Stekata smells it's like... more cologne More cologne Absolutely cologne It's based off of a very expensive fragrance uh, that I almost bought the other day. Did I, you? I, you, I, dude, you were looking at that sample pack? Sale. No, it was on sale. Oh, snap. And I was like, that's the cheapest I've ever seen it. But I can't tell my wife I've spent several hundred dollars on this mm-hmm. uh, cologne yeah. without her. Well, that's why you go buy a forty dollar bottle of this and spray so it in your vehicle. That's why buy a forty dollar bottle of this. And it's actually probably the same size, if not bigger. So um, it smells amazing. I don't know how to. It's light. It's, it's literally one of my favorite scents. Um, it's light. It's crisp. It's not super dense, but it is masculine, mm-hmm. and it just yeah, it lasts a long time. And then Grant says those T sixty six turbos crying face. Uh, uh, oh, the small shirts already sold out. Says Fido Fibers only customer. We know the dog wanted to wear mm-hmm. one. Unfortunately, Ed, um, with the uh, real question of the day, was Sydney sporting a prototype long sleeve T shirt on the new K ten truck? Tuned, Ed, possibly, stay tuned. possibly. We wanted to make sure it was comfortable. We'll see when that might come out. Yep. Darren, just uh, if you're on a night out, don't tell people you're wearing a car air freshener. Me and the wife has his and hers versions, and I've worn it almost every day. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. So, I Darren, that. yeah, you don't want to like, you don't want to say that to people, but yeah. like, they'll ask you, like, what are you wearing? Like, yeah. what do you? And just tell them it's just some special stuff. Yeah, it's just a scent. No, it's nice because it actually you can wear. You don't. Well, you don't feel don't, like you're wearing a don't car freshener. Spray it on your skin. Yeah, though. just no. spray it on your clothing, and you're and you're good to go. Yep. Cue the Bob Berger sexy time music and Franco. You so fine. I almost shouldn't my pants. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, those are great guys. So uh, these oh you're gonna need God. to. These have to go in your comments no, on yeah, your yeah, orders. Yeah. You can't we're put not, them in the comments. In the yeah, we're not doing thing. it. Here. So you have to order something yeah. and then you will get the <laughs> this free. This is all this is. You will get the free. <laughs> these are great though. Half of these we can't say on here. These are awesome. Um, that's uh, great. What's the breast spray foam to use in the sun? Did you say breast spray foam? <laughs> you best. Okay. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. What is the best spray foam to use in the sun? I I think GSF holds up very well. I think it snow does. Holds Pearl up very also well. is great. Pearl. Pretty much any of the pH balance stuff that we sell work great in direct sun from our experience. Mm-hmm. Then Ron Ayote saying, good afternoon, friends. And then uh, Mike Rea saying, how long does Absolute Diluted last in a spray bottle? In a spray bottle, quite a long time because you can shake it up. Yeah. I mean, uh, it's just in a bucket, being able to shake that bucket. In to a spray, mix it we up use again. the spray bottles that we mix up here usually within a month. So we've never had to anything go longer than that. And yeah, I don't know. I mean, I'll say a month at the, the least. Yeah, just shake it up and keep going. And then uh, Wesley Snipes saying, uh, Breakbuster does the same thing as Undressed and more. What's the point of Undressed? Just a standalone f- uh, fire cleaner, tire, tire cleaner. cleaner. Um, yes, basically. It's an yeah. actual, it's a more concentrated version for tires yeah. to pull that. It's a more of a rubber cleaner where Breakbuster is designed to do both. It can yeah. clean wheels. It's more designed to clean wheels, and it has rust inhibitors in it yeah. that Undress does not have. Yeah. So, yeah, Undress is really focused on just decreasing uh, rubber surfaces. Uh, Harry Horsewife says, always in the room. Uh, it's in my calendar. Remind me weekly to tune nice. in. Always, Darren. Glad you're here, man. Dino saying, coming in a bit late. How are you guys? Good, Dino. How are you? And then, uh, Franco, after two separate cleaning sessions, I was finally able to get that black tar tobacco carbon doo-doo funk of the Ooh. dashboard and door panels of my S10. It was so caked on. I can smell it. Honestly, I, I smell that Yeah. right now. Uh, Franco saying, I used Absolute in a gallon of water and PNS Express interior. Nice. Nice. Uh, Dino saying, Umberto's not here. Can someone call him? Did something happen? He was literally first comment, but that was from like February 6th. Yeah. So <laughs> hopefully he's okay. Uh, Joey Belinsky saying, pulling a Dewar, and we'll have to catch this one later, but I hope my pickup line gets chosen. Thank Joey, you, Joey. I hope it does, man. Um, and then, uh, Raphael, Anthony, is that a photo of you in the back? It is a photo of myself. Um, it's a holy rosary right there. It's the rosary is what we refer to it as. I, you know, I try to make it disappear and it always comes back. Yep. There I am in my prime. Yeah. <laughs> You know, back in the day, I didn't really have to even try, right? You know, yeah, I had, I had so many right. Valentines, you know, 
they were they were given to me. Yeah. Oh, now, people would just hand them to you on the street. Yeah. But nowadays, it's just you know I got just one Valentine. Technically, I have two Valentines. You so do have two Valentines. Yeah. So. Yeah. Uh, nice jacket says why wait and then we've got Darren says uh, man those hoodies employee exclusive does that <laughs> extend to the heart of TRC I wish Darren we literally only made enough for just like it went the on employees. a it was a list it was a list that we made and it there was no room for adding more John was very well and it was it was just do you want a hoodie that yeah. was it. it we didn't even know what the hoodies were gonna be yeah and but that's they, the but crazy we, thing but then they told us they're like hey they're gonna be like forty five dollars and we're like. Yes, do it. We don't know. Hopefully they're Yeah, cool. it's one of those, uh, it was a surprise. Yeah. So, uh, Demo saying, hey, Hori. <laughs> uh, Ed Iverson, does those hoodies have looked good driving that booty? Yeah. They would have. They would have matched. Could you imagine Dane Dude. getting out of the truck? Yeah. Hopping down with this? I agree. Uh, Mario says, I need to buy a case of those hoodies. <laughs> I would buy a case. <laughs> And uh, Dino, where is Dane? Dane is at home sick today. His stomach just has been bothering him. So he's in the comments enjoying a little time off. And then uh, Graham, whoop, wax, to- wax Talk tickets ordered an Iron Brew case may cost you one of those hoodies. Oh, gosh. I, I wish. I wish. Well, you Graham, might have to I buy wish. one of ours physically off of us. <laughs> That's the only way that happens. He but like shows up with like a pallet of <laughs> yeah. Iron Brew. He's like, does this tempt you? I'm like, Graham, I can't even bring this back. <laughs> it's going to cost us that. a couple hundred bucks <laughs> to fly it back. More than that. <laughs> Thousands. Um, oh, man. We did get our hotel rooms booked for Wax Talk. So yeah. uh, we did that this week. So we will be there. See you guys there. Uh Kirby, is the new logo a hint of the TRC stronger and growing beyond the microfiber world? Um, no, no, don't. Yeah, don't read into it that far. It's not so, that far. So we've been changing the logo on our website for the last year. Yeah, for every sale, nobody ever noticed. Nobody's ever noticed it. So we, in our marketing discussions, had talked about, well, what if we change them during a sale? across the board yeah. every social so media it's a little more fun so maybe the youtube logo gets changed the instagram the facebook all those get changed along with the website for the sale yeah. so that you get this brand cohesion so when people get there you get you guys have seen it and those of you that are signed up to the newsletter go to the ragcompany.com scroll to the bottom sign up for the newsletter you get that when you get notified of a sale you see the new logo or the special sticker yeah. That's the logo that we changed. So we only do this for fun to create these fun stickers. So we thought, gosh, why not do it across the board? And man, did it surprise us how many people did not like, yeah, did not like it. But hey, that's that's the fun part about it. We're doing this for all fun, right. you, and you, it so, makes it so, exciting. It's not like you made Nate cry or anything with all of his hard work you put into it. Uh, Kimberly says, "Greetings. Ordered my limited TRC Tiffany blue shirt." This AM, I was over 30 days shopping sober, but I tuned in while getting ready for work. Tomorrow will be day one. Good job, Kimberly. Thank you for yep. staying up and, and waiting for that. Andre, mix Dane up some absolute. That'll clear him out. Uh, yeah, it will. <laughs> and then uh, Grant says, or Grant F says, yurt detailing outside in Arizona. Mofos, happy Friday. Nice. Oh, yurt detailing. Nice. George Houghton saying, uh, what's up? We have some people saying hi to each other. And then uh, Umberto in the house saying hello to Oh, we team. do have Umberto. There we go. And then Ed says, Yancey's made several new videos for Optimum recently. Yeah, like I said, he's been freelancing to all the different brands. So, um, and then let's see, everybody saying hello to Umberto. And Ron saying, Yancey's doing a Speed Vision series with Nick Rudder of McKee's and IDS Car Care. Yep, he's doing that too. Heck so, yeah. Um, really, like I said, Yancey's been kicking butt and taking names and I'm proud of him. Spencer. All right, guys, let's hear it. What pro only coding would you choose? G Technic CSU, Optimum, Ceramic Pro, et cetera. Highs, lows of it all. And what's your pick? If you could choose just one. Also, I'm G Technic accredited. Um, so we've, Anthony and I have been fortunate enough to be able to install a number of different pro level coatings, um, in the last gosh, last five to seven years. Uh, mm. And we like each one for different unique purposes. Yeah, there's pros and cons of each. I mean, that's that's it's a hard question, honestly, because G-Technic, for example, gosh, I mean, ease of use, um, CSU, it's, I mean, if you've applied CSL, CSU's, you know, it's 
a little slightly more difficult, but it's still in the same ballpark. Um, but CSU's hydrophobic behavior is amazing. I think it looks great as well. Um, but I mean, then you jump over to, let's just say, uh, Optimum. Optimum, I mean, God, That's the goat I, I mean, right there. Optimum is kind of the goat. I mean, they're, even though the OptiCoat Pro Plus has been around for so many years, that coating still outperforms. I don't know. I don't know how many other coatings out there. It's still an amazing coating. Gloss coat, gloss coat is is good, but n- nowhere near as good as OptiCoat Pro Plus. Um, and then they have now they have OptiCoat three too, which we haven't had a chance to try, but I'm sure it's amazing. Um, and then you have Legend by PNS, which is I'd consider honestly that to be Legend a pro is a, is a pro coating yeah. and rivals. It rivals it's a lot of them. I mean, I, a lot I would of say Legend rivals CSU for sure. I think Legend probably might be a little bit harder in terms of like the thickness of it or just like the the hardness of it, but it is harder to apply than CSU. And then you have um, Diamond, Diamond Pro Tech, which honestly, the only trade off there is the multiple layers. But I would say Diamond Pro Tech's hydrophobic properties are the best and self-cleaning capabilities yeah, i would say it's self-cleaning and hydro properties are the best of every of what i love about like optimum you can leave it on a car you could like we used to do we wouldn't jeff never washed his car yeah we coated it in pro plus and then he'd wash it four times a year yeah and we'd be the ones having to wash it and every time it, it would just, wash fine it was just crazy because like when we were washing that that escalade with pro plus on it i mean levi would straight up be taking that body brush and yeah, I'd bring to just wash the truck just with the wash body brush. the truck with the body brush. I'm like, what are you doing, dude? And and we would go and inspect it in direct sunlight, and I'd be like, no way. That was a hard coating. I'm like, it's a hard coating, and it looks great. And there was no, I mean, there was no issues with that coating. So that that is a gem that is yet to be, you know, released to the world or released to the public, which is unfortunate because Pro Plus is very good. Mm-hmm. Uh, Kimberly says, uh, weather alert. It's going to uh, almost be 50 in Chicago Sunday. I'm sure many wolf packs will be on the move. That'll be nice. Yeah. I think I'm I'm very much looking forward to some warmer weather. We hit 40s, 40s this week, and um, I'm, like, loving it. Oh, yeah. Dude, but it, well, in and- Idaho, it's so funny, dude, because we hit in the 40s. It's like okay, people are more people are doing things. People are excited. The sun's out. The second it it crosses over forty nine into f- the fifty, windows down in the car. Right, it's windows down weather, baby. No, it's fifty nuts. degrees. It's, yeah, it feels amazing, and that's just how things are. People start wearing shorts in Idaho. It's like fifty degrees here after a winter with the teens. Well, and that was the, that was the funny changing. thing. We were at Mobile Tech and. The night we went to Raglan Road, yeah, I came downstairs, and I had put on shorts because I had been wearing pants all day. Mm-hmm. I put on shorts. I put on my a t-shirt and my hoodie, or yeah. not my hoodie, but I had my Raven uh, yeah. Dixon flannel and yeah. my hat, and that's what. I, and I had flip flops, and that was what I was going to wear. And I checked the weather, and it was like fifty two is going to be the low, yeah. and I thought I'll be good. And then I walk out to the. Downstairs to the lobby and like John, Josh, Matt, all of them are wearing hoodies, Alan. Everybody had hoodies on and yeah. pants. And I was like, what the heck, dudes? And they're yeah. like, well, it's going to be cold. And I said, it's going to be 52. Yeah. That's like, we're going to like, it's Boise. We're like, we're in Orlando. We can enjoy this. Yeah. And I did. I'll tell you that right now. I enjoyed that weather. So Fiat 50 here, man, you could, we could do all kinds of stuff here. All right. Ooh, we got we got Birch in the house. Then we have got a lot um, coming up. How long does the scent last? It lasts quite some time. It's days. Yeah. It'll last days. A few days for sure. And you can spray it again. Cameron saying, "Hey guys, moving into a new house and driveway has a slope. Any tips? How big of a slope, Cameron? You're gonna have to stop by and send it or show us pictures or something. Because like, is it a massive slope? Is it a Dane slope? Because <laughs> that's gonna slope. suck. If it's a slope like my house or Anthony's house, it's not that big of a deal." Yeah, so. slopes aren't slopes aren't the worst thing in the world, but they're not the best. Alan says um, he also heard me say breast. Nice, nice. Alan's and a then uh, Simon Birch saying Levi Birch is here. Nice, the Birch is in the house. Bearded Hunter saying uh, hello to Umberto. Umberto. I had to skip a bunch of comments because it was all just people saying hello to Umberto. And then Lloyd G says, uh, "Hey gents, watched uh, a Aztec guess who recently joined IDA." Attended my first meet and greet with the San Diego chapter, and I was already welcomed with open arms. Learning is growing. Nice. Huzzah. That's awesome. Congrats, Congrats man. Lloyd. That's awesome. And then we've got uh, here, 
Um, Antoine, Antoine Armstrong. Hey, hey, guys. Go ahead. Oh, sorry. Sorry I'm late. Hey, buddy bought a new Challenger Scat Pack and wants me to put Uno Advance on it. I don't have to wait a bit to polish protect a new car. No. on ad- Well, Advanced... Advanced, I don't think you'll have to worry. It's a different type of ceramic, so it's not really going to cause any issues well, on is, a new I mean, car. That, that car was probably painted, but if it's brand new... I'm, it's probably it, painted six painted months ago. Six months ago, three and four months ago. Yeah. I doubt... I Yeah, I think you're going to be fine. And then Dewar saying Birch in the house. Yeah. Shelby saying, yep, I need one of those hoodies. Shelby, have to take it off <laughs> Levi's back. <laughs> and then James, can Beadmaker be used on interior surfaces? It can. It can. I mean, it's not what it we, can be. Yeah, it's not what we do around here, but we know Rennie does it a lot. Yeah, uh, ravishing details. Mobile saying, "I just bought over one hundred oh towels." Gosh, that That's is amazing! A haul. Congratulations, Congrats. Han saying, "What hotel will you guys be in for Wax Talk? The hotel, the DoubleTree, at the at the arena." Hans, we hope you will, you'll be joining us. We know you like to stay in some hotels off site. But just know that that's where the party's going to be happening. It's much more fun just to be at the hotel. Yeah. You just walk upstairs. Yeah. And you'll be able to, we'll, we'll tell you where Dane's sleeping so you yeah. can scare him at night. And it's, and it's honestly, it's, I think it's 100 pounds a night, and it includes free breakfast. Yeah. And their breakfast buffet. Yep. Quite delightful. And to be able to have breakfast with everybody that's there at Waxstock. I mean, we sat down, we're having breakfast with Alan, we got Gumi, we got uh, Bob, we got Rennie, we got all these folks sitting there eating breakfast. Enjoying each other's company in the morning. Yeah. And then we got the coffee machine, which well, is always a great my favorite time. thing, honestly, is Hans, it's almost worth it just to sit there and watch Dane eat. That because too. Because Dane mm-hmm. will walk in and he'll be like, hey, he'll be like, hmm, hmm, set his coffee down, hmm, hmm, hmm. Start cutting into his thing one little bite at a time. All right, Dane, we got to go. Oh, I just sat down. Dane, well, you got here an hour late. Yeah. And he goes, well, I just, well, what, guys, I got to eat. Dane, we're going now. We're and going. Then, it's always funny. Well, on that last year's trip, you and I got up <laughs> early, and we'd go get breakfast. We decided that trip- I feel like three times. We'd get breakfast in the morning before we did anything else. Yeah. So we'd go eat yep. in our pajamas, and then we would shower, and then possibly sneak back go in back for in. more ba- breakfast, and then downstairs. Yeah. That, and, one of the best breakfasts, I will say, though, outside of Rag Company Europe, inside that place that we stayed at- in the in, hotel, the Van- the Van. Vulcan or Van Vulcan. Vulcan, and that was in where in the Netherlands. It was in the it was in the Netherlands in um uh, Enschend. Enschend, yes. Yeah, I think like it was that. in Enschend. That that breakfast was, Ugh, was, was insane, was insane. And I Patrick even said this is the best breakfast I've ever had. It he is. was not wrong. Was and you and I were like, had. this is the best. And then Jeff and Dane were like, it was good. And yeah, we're I'm like, like, what? <laughs> it was good and he best. said you, give me your breakfast card you yeah. don't get breakfast anymore yeah. it's all me now <laughs> um so next up here we've got um gosh, uh, we're back here we already had, got some people that finally started texting and posting okay so now to one page one. Oh shoot hold on we're not rat, on one rat on i don't know whether to thank you or course you i now have four Dixon shirts. Oh, curse you! It's it's hey, honestly it's a, it's all right, man. I'm glad bad, you're enjoying it's them. A bad a Dixon. <laughs> Dixon, get it? Uh, and then Raphael saying, "I ordered the 1500 and the big gauntlet. I wasn't ex- I was expecting in the new bag. I'll keep ordering until I get my OG TRC sticker." I think I understand. I was expecting the new bag. I don't think the 1500 is in the new bag. No, it's yet. not a new bag. No. Yet. And then Graham saying only at Wax Talk on the Sunday. That's all right, Graham. It's all good. We'll see you there. That'll be fun. And then uh, Umberto saying hello to Hans. And then Grand F saying, love the new shirt. Would you ever make an Under Armour style shirt for us detailers to escape in the sun? Maybe a hooded, stretchy long sleeve. That's a good idea. Possibly. We used to have a, a... performance fabric shirt but none of us really felt it looked flattering on us so maybe <laughs> if we make a black one it'll be different showed off uh, all the curves that we didn't really want didn't want to, to show see. people that stuff um oh ravishing details sorry saying how do i get more paint correction and ceramic coating jobs um you just kind of fall into it honestly you have to start showing that you can do the kind of work and that you're able to you're capable of doing the work yeah. so 50 50s um a lot of it is in how you're going to sell or talk to your customers. You've got to understand that, like, I rarely got heavy paint correction. 
Yeah. And as much as so many people want to have that, man, it's a that's a lot of work. It's a hard amount of work. I, and yeah, so I, I wouldn't. I would. I would just want to do one steps all day. That's that's me too. I would rather do one steps with advanced or Uno Protect uh, with Uno Advanced or Uno Protect all day long now, and just leave it at that. Uh, um, the two step and the heavy paint correction. I mean, God, it's just so tough on the body. It, it's a lot of work. I mean. It's a lot of just going over things, especially when you have a picky customer too that wants perfection, and you just you're just like, dang. Well, like, and there was a there's a there's a detailer, um, Superior Shine in California. Yeah, and he once said that um, the you're never gonna get a ten for your customers, right? So if yeah. they want the be all end all, like take your Civic for example, perfect paint. Mm-hmm. How much time did you put into polishing your Civic to get to the level that you wanted? You're asking me that? You, yeah. I don't know, Levi. I was having so much fun that I, I got but lost in the But that's you. I got, I got lost in the sauce, But right? that's you knowing how to do it. Yeah, it could have been, been if a you, time. If you knew what you wanted now yeah. and you had to pay a detailer and you didn't know the stuff that you know now... Mm-hmm. Can you imagine the process and the cost of what oh, you'd yeah, be no, willing I, to put yeah, into that it'd car? Be, it'd, yeah, it'd be it'd be it would probably be so much money that I considering what you paid for that car. Yeah, it would be it would be too much, honestly. If somebody were to say, "Hey, make you know, make my thing look like yours," and I'm like, "I don't want you to know." Yeah, it takes some time. Right. Well, you're working on a car yeah. right now that's like that. You've been working on a car like that, and that's the thing that most people don't understand. And you've got to remember, you, you're not teaching your customers on uh, what they want or need. You need to find out how they're going to care for it, what they're looking for, and what their expectations are. 90% of your customers only need a one-step polish and only need that one step because they just need something to look brighter and shiny. Mm -hmm. They're not looking at the scratches. They're not looking at the heavy defects. They're not looking at that stuff. They just, they just want their car to look glossy. Well, some of them don't even know that some of those defects can even be removed. Right. Like some of them will be like, oh, I got a scratch here. Dang. Yep. You know, dang. Oh, well. Right. And I'm like, you know, I can get that out. Mm -hmm. Right. And they go, wait, what? You can Oh, that's okay. You don't have to worry about it. It's all you know. It's it's all right. And you, you're like, yeah. really? Well, like that would drive me crazy. Like the orange truck in the video we 3, did. Three thousand grid orange. Yeah, like, get it out. But like the truck that we did in the video. Yeah, that truck is scratched. Oh my god, that it's truck scratched. works. Goes does stuff. Gabe's dad uses it. It's a truck that's been in his family for for generations. Well, when, they, when they pulled it in, it had a. Uh, had bird droppings all over the hood. Right? Yeah, and they've been just and sitting. And I it. said, "How long has that been on there, Gabe?" And Gabe goes, "I have no idea." And yeah. I go, "It's etched. I know it is. Watch him in a white pants can be etched." And he goes, "No, oh, we'll just check." Did it? Yeah, it was etched. And he goes, "Huh?" But is what it is. You wash that truck with bubbler, which is a high gloss soap, which mm -hmm. has a little bit of sealant to it. Well, it's like gives a it some glossifier. Gloss, yeah. It's a glossifier shampoo. Yeah. And then you guys sprayed it with Dream Maker, mm -hmm. and it went back to Gabe's dad's house. It was glowing. Yeah. And the truck wasn't polished, but his dad was like, man, look at the paint. Look how good that looks. Look how great it is. It's still scratched. Mm -hmm. it's still, it still looks like it's been wiped down with a California duster. But Gabe's dad loved the look of the truck. Yeah. And that's, that's all that really matters is what does your customer expect and what do they want? And so once I learned that that, that top level of perfection isn't, isn't technically attainable for your customers and they don't ever see that, it changes the way you look at paint correction. So when I did that custom car for PPG's booth for Grand National Roaster Show last year mm -hmm. with nine coats of clear, yeah, and I had to block sand that from 600 up the whole car, and it sat in my garage for six weeks, that is true paint correction. Yeah. And I wasn't yeah. even 100% on that. Yeah. And that is something that most people don't understand. You can't do that kind of work on a minivan. You can't do that kind of work on just a Corvette because you don't have enough clear coat to work on it. So it's all about learning how to, how to sell to your customers and what they want and maximize what you're charging based on the amount of time that you're spending. Yeah. I'd rather charge 500 bucks and do a one step and clean the interior than charge a thousand and do a paint correction. Yeah so much faster to do the other way so anyway all right let me find out where we are here uh apologies and uh, uh there we go right there cameron here. above that nope nope 
Cameron up. Right there. There you go. Cameron, I commented on a previous slide, but I don't think you guys saw it. I closed on a house, 217, and wanted to say thank you because with your detailing advice, my side hustle is helping pay for it. I saw that, but I thought you maybe posted it in the Q&A or the podcast, the Facebook. I thought you posted it there, Cameron, but congratulations. It's awesome, dude. Uh, Why wait saying the weather in New York is crazy for this time of year? Dane says that's awesome, Cameron. Yeah, dude, congrats for that. Seriously. Uh, Franco saying Cameron Messina for real. Congrats. Um, and then Andre Basic. Looking for a suggestion. Had an M&M melt on a fairly new leather seat. Cleaned up fine, but now has developed a white ring in its place that keeps coming back. Any thoughts on what to use? A white ring. So the only thing I can think of is maybe the top coat of the leather may have been mm-hmm. damaged. Um, Some of the sugar. If it, if it keeps coming back, that would be my guess that the top coat damaged it. Um, in that case, if it's black leather, um, you could try to take a little bit of the um, uh, leather restore that we sell uh, from Color Lock. It's a black leather restore. You can just go over the top of it. Um, and just touch it up yeah. and it'll re-dye that area. Um, and Andre, uh, I'd post that picture in the TRC yeah, uh, discussion we'll group. First. Take a picture of it and we can see if uh, Lars or even Hans or someone who knows Lars leather chime in can, can pop yeah. in and tell you exactly what you need to do to take care of that. So yeah, LHF detailing saying, good afternoon, gentlemen from sunny, warm Delaware. Laid up with a bad hand this week, so I did a warm O&R rinse list on the shop truck and the wife's Jeep. Was a nice, was nice enjoying an easy day for a change. That's awesome, man. Congrats. I'm sorry about your hand. And then Ken Jeeper saying, hey, fellas. And then Kimberly saying, loving the epic waterless absolute combo. This scene is absolutely epic. The shine, I'm assuming. Oh, yeah. Now, yeah it really is. Pretty yeah. rad. Uh, Spencer. I'm getting more toll free calls today than I've gotten in a long time. It's crazy. Spencer. Says, all right, I'm on the fence, you guys. I'm thinking of getting an IR lamp, doing tint, PPF, and coatings. What would be the benefits of having one? I've never had an IR lamp. So I so have. You have. Yeah. Uh, they're great um, because of the fact that they can warm up an area. So doing PPF, like removing PPF, works really well. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you have a cold car that's, let's say you you've got a, Maybe you got a couple cars outside and you're one one bay shop and you're pulling a cold car in, putting that on there, it'll warm up that panel yeah. to where it's it can get to room temperature much faster than just sitting in the garage. Yeah. Um, if you're doing vinyl wrapping, uh, you know, same thing for peeling. It's better for a lot of peeling yeah. to take that stuff off because you can warm a whole panel and it's a I call it a bone warming warm. Yeah. Like it, it, yeah, it it goes deep. It goes deep. And so, um, it definitely helps for that because it's not cascading everywhere. It's more focused heat and you can adjust where that heat profile is. I would recommend getting a, uh, uh, infrared thermometer though. So you can make sure you're not burning and melting stuff. I've seen people who have put, uh, they'll use it to coat, to cure a coating. Um, and they'll put it on a panel and they're not watching it, and they're not watching the time, and there are horror stories on Google and uh, Google Images of IR lamps burning and melting plastics and things. So always be careful. Always watch the temperature. Keep an eye on it. Um, most of the coatings nowadays don't need it, yeah. but it definitely helps, especially if you're doing like a wheels-off coating. Yep. Uh, you can set that down low. You can put the four wheels across, and you can bake the coating in and that really helps uh yep. extend the life of those because sometimes wheels are always kind of just cold and Agreed. it's nice getting the product up to temperature so that it can actually like work so um but they're cheap they're under a couple hundred bucks you only really need one unless you're installing a coating that absolutely 100 percent needs needs those things and then in that sense it's worth getting a couple more mostly for time management yep grant Stop talking about the weather. We got a Category 5 Brock Lesnar tropical storm coming this weekend after two Ooh. when we had mass flooding due to another storm. I am sorry, Grant. And Han says, the Van de Volk, it's called an Enchin. Ooh. That was a, Anthony took a bath there. I did take a bath. It was lovely. I normally don't take baths in hotels just because, you know. Well, you said we're in the Netherlands. I said, I wanna... said it back at least I, I, I could say I've taken a bath in the Netherlands. Well, that tub was pretty deep. It was pretty it red. It was. It was comfortable. 
Uh, Dane says, can confirm. I have never been a morning person. <laughs> we know that, Dane. So on that note, before we jump into Franco's here, um, we are actually going to jump. We are to right at the three, a, uh, three o'clock mark break here. So uh, go ahead and go grab a drink. Enjoy some commercials in the meantime. Uh, check out the website right now if you haven't already gotten your order in and given us your best pickup line. Got to put it in the comments. Put it in your comments. On your order. And you will hopefully be able to be selected be for chosen. a free bottle of the uh, Chanette Sconette, whatever the heck you want to call it. So anyways, we'll be back here in just a few minutes and we'll get back to answering questions. See you in a minute. off-road. Yeah. I don't know. I'm thinking maybe whip us up oh, some uh, extra cocktails. Oh, yeah. I mean, Dane, do it. I mean, it's my first day, but let me see what I can whip up. Nice. <laughs> oh. Jeez, <laughs> Dane. What? Jeez, Dane. what? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Amazing. Looking for feedback. Let me know what you think. Oh my god. This stuff smells amazing. Good, good, all right. Well, Levi, Dane, cheers, man. Cheers. Nice. Bottom cheers. Up. Thanks, Dane. Oh my god. God, why why are you spinning my drink up? I worked hard on that. What is in the is this is that polymers? My mouth is encapsulating. Why would you even know what polymers taste like? It tastes like chemicals. Did you feed oh. us chemicals? What did you put in this? Oh. I made you a nice drink. Oh, well, he's just supposed oh. to be nice. Oh, guys, that's my car! What? You hit my car. God, guys, if he didn't want the drinks, he could have just given them back to me or something. Ah, <sighs> dang. Are you seeing that shine over there? Hmm? On the car. Oh my god. Dane, what'd you put in that stuff? What, in your drinks? Yeah. yeah. Some water and some absolute. Absolute vodka? 
No. PNS Double Black Absolute Rinseless Wash. Wait a minute. Are you trying to poison us? Hey, uh, did you just make us drink rinseless no, wash? No, no, no definitely us? didn't do that. Uh, Absolute Rinseless Wash is not for oral or suppository consumption. It looks pretty good. It does, however, leave a hell of a clean and smooth surface on your vehicle. Wow. PNS Absolute Rinseless Wash. Mix responsibly. Is that, is that something? I mean, it's yeah, pretty good. I'm, I'm kind of enjoying thing? it. I'm kind of so. liking this. Yeah. So just don't drink it. No. Yeah. Okay. Let's, let's make sure we don't don't drink it for the future. But do Dang. put it on cars. Yeah, it's good. It's for cars. Put it on a car. Okay. Not yeah. inside yet. <laughs> All right, and we are back for more questions here on Q&A Thursday. Now, just as a quick reminder, we mm. are running our sale right now for Valentine's right. Day. Make sure to stock up and save 25% off select brands, as well as pick up some limited swag mm. and some other deals that we have curated yeah. for Every the sale. order gets a free sticker. Every order gets a free sticker, which is pretty freaking sweet. Put this on maybe a stainless steel mug. That's what right? I did. Wouldn't that be do- that I'd put that'd be mine dope? on there. That'd be pretty sick. Maybe just even a blank white coffee mug. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Don't dishwash it, no. but hand well, wash only. Yeah, on the on the white coffee mug. Yeah. The stainless yeah. one, you can throw it in the washing machine. Sticker will handle it. You think no it problem. Will? Mine have been doing it for years. Really? Yeah, that's because wow. that stuff's laminated, so it's got a nice coating over it you know, so it doesn't deteriorate they just don't make them like that anymore you know they don't nobody does nobody did you know does. that like every really? other company i get their stickers i put it on my coffee mug they disintegrate the ones that don't are my trc stickers you think maybe that's why your dishwasher failed this last year maybe possibly all these sticker res- for sticker residue in the bottom probably, of it probably did. So we don't even might, talk might about have it. been it but uh franco here it says pro tip from a novice oh interesting I've been using an old protein shaker bottle to shake up my absolute, ooh, with water, then pour into my bucket of water to super disperse the absolute. That's a great idea. That is a good idea. Because a lot of people don't realize, we tell you, you know, when you get, first get your absolute and you're getting ready to mix it up, to pour some in, shake it. Yeah. Shake it up. And then when you pour it into the water, stir the water up. Mm-hmm. because you need it to disperse and, and do that. So, Franco, good job, man. That's actually a really great idea um, to help get it pre-broken down and ready to go. It's it's okay. all about the sheer, as Dave, Dave Phillips says. And then so. uh, we have Darren says, 100% looking forward to a nice evening dinner with everyone again. Hopefully, well, hopefully so, Darren. We're, we're hoping for it. Uh, a dinner wouldn't be complete, though, without a little bit of your honey. That right? was delicious. Maybe that's what I want yeah. for, with my breakfast. Remember when Mike Phillips was like was sitting next to you guys and he was cutting open his bottle of hot sauce? Hot sauce. That he was going to pour on his food that he yeah. had got some guy had given him. Yeah. But he wanted to keep the spider on top. So weird about the hot <laughs> sauce thing. He goes, and like Yancey's like, do you want me to open it? He goes, yeah, but don't mess up the spider. I'm like, Mike Phillips, it's literally a plastic it's a, spider. It's like an Halloween spider. It's like a ring. of the thing. He goes, I don't want to mess it up. I want to yeah. keep it looking nice. Yeah, it was great. That guy can eat some hot sauce, though. Holy I, cow, I, I couldn't I, imagine. I can't do it. Uh, not that hot. Yeah, and then Franco says, whatever you do, don't use the shaker cup for drinking. And then uh, Spencer, I n- also, I never did get a yes or no to you have you guys come here and ceramic coat a tractor. Very funny, buddy. Oh, man. How much fun would that be? Are you paying for it? We'll go. I, it How doesn't sound it? like that much fun to me, but, <laughs> you know. Harry Horsewife says, to anyone wanting to book the Double Tree for Wax Talk, I believe the website says zero availability. It has for a while now. I believe there's maybe a chance that some available So closed, what I do know, time. what I do know is that the... Uh, Hotel currently is they've got it locked so that they can make sure that all the distributors yeah. um, and or dealers and and companies can get all their uh, hotel rooms uh, booked in time. They want to get the they want to get all the folks that are uh, presenting wax stock to have their rooms booked, and then they will open it to the general public. So yeah. uh, it will be available uh, probably in the next month or so, I believe. Uh, yep. If you're visiting and going and attending, um, but right now it is locked just so that they can get everybody that's basically putting on wax stock to make sure they've got their rooms booked uh, yep. before it's open to the public. And then uh, Harry House, I say, Dane, that's why I never made it to breakfast. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, we have Graham that says wax stock means a five o'clock, 5 a.m. alarm. Yeah, you guys drove, didn't you? Yeah. Sunday. And then Shiny Scratches says Spencer. Yeah, that's what then... that's all people want. 
We're on page one now. I can't believe it. We're really caught up today on this Q&A Thursday. Well, I don't know how to go into dark What have mode. you done, Levi? I had just pushed You've a button. You clicked a button and it ruined everything. I can't see anything I can't now. see anything either. What did you press? You pressed a... Oh, I see it. It's at the bottom. Okay, there we go. Yeah. All right. All right so, Dane says, I used to work a job that required me to wake up at about 4 a.m. every day for about five years. I did it without issue, but it was the most unnatural feeling in, in my soul... And my soul refuses to ever do that again. That was when Dane worked at the Home Depot. Um, he had to get up pretty dang early for that. And what's funny is I also, when I worked, I, I had a job at Lowe's for four years. And I had to do the same thing when I was in the, I don't know what it was called. It was called receiving department. It was like receiving department. I had to wake up at, I had to wake up, at, technically I had to wake up at three because I had to be at work at four. Mm-hmm. And that sucked. That sucked. And then I had to go to college right after then after yeah. college, then after college, um, then I had to go after I'd get out of college or get out for my day from there. Then I'd help my dad clean windows, mm. and then I would go home and then start everything. And then I then I go home. My friends want to hang out. I go. I can hang out for an hour. Then I start my day all over again. You know, it was gr- it was a grind. It's a grind that most people. Yeah, the only know. time I got up early was when I worked at Micron. Yeah, and that was five forty-five. It's pretty early. I'd have to start my shift, so if- I'd get up at like four. And get ready and drive in, but I'd be out by five forty-five, and then yeah. for some reason by nine o'clock I was exhausted. That I'm, was weird. I would rather like I'm high functioning until like one a.m., mm-hmm. but like before, before honestly before like nine I'm just kind of barely there. Yeah. Before eleven I'm kind of more there, but after eleven a.m. ready to rock and roll. Yeah. Uh, Raphael says Levi, in your shop days, how would you respond to someone that politely says your services? were expensive question mark what was your go-to line uh i so i was fortunate in the fact that i had a detail shop across the street from me and a detail shop at the end of the street two blocks away Mm -hmm. and i had a car wash two blocks away so when someone would pull up uh, half the time they wouldn't even pull in they would pull up ask me what do you charge for an interior what do you charge for this and i would say the price and truth be told i was the highest in the city i was the highest price in the city and uh, I told them the price, and they'd say, that's too much money. And I said, well, there's a shop right there, and there's a shop down the street, and there's a car wash over there. I'm sure you can probably get it cheaper. Yeah. And that was it. I just I, I wasn't going to compete on price against anybody. I would rather do the job at my price and be happy with it and be happy with the money I made than argue because what I found, and this is – solely from doing this for so long and it's like a law of averages the person who is going to fight you on price is also going to fight you on every little tiny thing Mm -hmm. that maybe you didn't do so you would let's say you glimpse into the future of the future that you don't want right and so let's say you do the interior for 150 bucks yeah. And you just wash the outside and you, all you done is wash it and you dress the tires for them. And maybe you did a, you know, like a quick detailer on the outside just to clean up the, the excess. They're going to get you on. Why is there a smudge on this outside window? Yeah. Well, I didn't do the outside windows. I washed the car. Yeah. Oh, there's a scratch here on this fender. You didn't buff out. I never said we were buffing out your car. We were only doing an interior and a wash. Yeah. Well, my wheel's still kind of dirty. Well, you didn't pay for an actual wheel detail. This is just an exterior wash. If you would have paid for an exterior detail, I would have done the wheels. They popped their motor. You never even did my motor. You never steam cleaned the engine. Yep. I didn't, didn't plan on that. And then they get in the interior, and maybe they're not happy because their interior is destroyed, trashed, beyond repair. And what you did makes it better, but it's not a brand new car to them. Yep. And they're pissed. And so nine times out of ten, I would find that the people would – Complain, complain, complain. My guys would spend an extra hour touching up or two hours touching up their vehicle after they were there. And that cost me money. Yeah. So I started looking at the actual production that I was putting into the vehicle to what I was having to pay out in terms of labor. And it started. I started realizing real quick, if you were going to complain about my price, I just wasn't going to do your car. Plain and simple. That's it. That's it. That, that like... And it's hard because a lot of people go, oh, I can't give away work like that. You got to have a certain number of standards. And there are people in this world, Mm -hmm. I had this conversation with a friend the other day, 
There are people in this world who have no qualms asking for a discount. They do not yeah. at all. They will ask for a discount on everything that they do. Yep. And then there are people in this world who will never ask you for a discount because they don't feel comfortable asking for a discount. And on those people that don't ask for a discount, feel free to go above and beyond. Give them something extra. Maybe instead of, you know, let's say that $150 interior, instead of doing a quick detail, you throw some, Q, you know, C2V3 on their car. Yeah, some will hire or you throw a little bead maker on it. You can give them something extra if they didn't ask for a discount. There's no problem with that. Yeah. But never, because there are so many people here that nickel and dime everything that they buy or want, that it just puts a bad taste in your mouth. And so that's why I always say, I just, it's another place down the street that'll do it cheaper. Have fun. And I still get that today. I still get people that say that at my house going, oh man, I wish I could afford that. Okay, well, I do it on the weekends. This is a side gig, so I can say no. Yeah. So... Uh, Dino says, I feel you, Dane. I worked at for four, from 4.30 to 8, 4.30 a.m. to 2 uh, for two for two years, and I was done. And then we have Graham that says, uh, seeing you, Dane, makes it all worthwhile. And Why Wait says, just wanted to let you guys know I got a new round brush with the wood backing, and it rocks. Made well and can be used for different things. Awesome, dude. Glad you like it. And then someone by Dane's Jag says, Alex, heart <laughs> from Dane. And then uh, Duke says, why does microfiber finishing pad vibrate more on a polisher than a foam cutting finishing pad and also microfiber cutting pads? Uh, I think because it, it mats down more, clumps yeah. up more. I yeah. Think that's probably why I'm maybe, assuming. Maybe, yeah, maybe. I, honestly, yeah, I have no idea. It could also be maybe that specific pad maybe isn't balanced correctly. Yeah, um, that too. Who knows? Dino says, looking at my bank account, I can maybe buy one of those, one of Dane's tires. Maybe. <laughs> Just one. Uh, Spencer, I always tell customers there's no such thing as perfect paint unless it's a new NSX with that insane quality control. Right. And that we aim for 85 to 90% correction in our shop using scan grip. Yeah, never yeah. promise 100% correction because it's impossible. And that's a good, good way to do it, Spencer. Uh, and then uh, Andre saying, thank you. And then Spencer says, then I proceed to tell them that our lights show more than the sun will outside, angles and shadows. When we polish the entire car, grab the lights and spot compound, save so much time. Yep, exactly. I 100% agree with that. And then Redonculus, hey guys, long time since I've been on. I recently did diamond glass and plan on doing it on my work truck. Can I drive it roughly half an hour after I applied without rain? And quick body to rejuvenate later. So yes and no. Yes, you can drive half an hour after applied, but no, quick body does not rejuvenate the coating, the glass coating. Yeah. So uh, you could use bead maker, you could use dream maker, you can use yeah, any other, other type of product, but you cannot. Quick, quick body, body does not. Yeah. Does not play nicely. Uh, Grant says, I'd say that the white ring from the M M and M could potentially be from the fat and the chocolate. That's what oh, I'm thinking too. That eventually. sounds about right, Grant. Uh, Alex, tried using the code hang from it, bang from it, 23 on my order uh, and said it yeah. was invalid. Wondering if you could speak to the web team to resolve that. I know that's our Valentine's Day slogan usually sometimes. It is, and it's very true. Um, I just, yeah, I don't know. I'll have to check with them. I know it was valid at one time, but, um, uh, you know, it may have. I don't know. Ruffled some feathers. Yeah. Uh, Grant says that most IRA lamps throw out about one to two meters of heat range and keep them a minimum of half a meter away from whatever you're yep. curing. Exactly. Thank you, Grant. Uh, we have detailer chick and saying, then, hi, guys. Hello, Christine. And then we have a first from Puerto Rico says, smash and blast the like oh. button. We do some smash and blast around we here do. for sure. Uh, Daytona <laughs> Wallace says... Catching live for the first time in a while. How long does DB interior last? Thinking of adding it to my cart. It's um, a one-year coating. Yeah. Now, whether or not it lasts longer on your interior because you're not having to clean it as much uh, is is really up to you. It could last two years. You don't you don't know. It could last three years. Depends on how your car's stored. It depends on like if Anthony put it put if you put diamond body interior on the Evo pretty much infinite yeah, last lifetime yeah because it never it never is in the sun for too long 
Well, yeah, not without like an umbrella. That's right, next exactly. To it. It's like yeah. a portable. But it's not your daily driver. Yeah, it's not my daily driver. So it's, it's like but on a daily driver, like let's say you put it in your Forerunner. Yeah. Right? The dogs get in, yeah, baby, last, the yeah. stuff. It lasts maybe a year. You probably get a good year out of it, and then you might yeah. probably want to put another coat on it. Um, and then uh, Kirby, Anthony, does the gloss last long with bubbler? I try to avoid soaps with a wax, just like a pure clean. A couple days. I mean, it's just, it's, it's, it's the, it's a very subtle extra bit. I mean, that's kind of what it is. Dream Maker, I find that the gloss lasts from Dream Maker, gosh. At least till the next wash. Gosh, a week, two weeks sometimes where I'm noticing a difference there. But with, with bubbler, it's just subtle. It's just, and a, what's it's nice, just a little over, it's just a little bit more than what you would get from a normal. And bubbler wash. leaves a different, so Mata, when you wash with Mata, it doesn't change the, the hydrophobics. Yeah. of whatever's on there. When you put bubbler on, it will change the hydrophobics and make it more hydrophobic because it leaves yeah. a different protection on the surface for that yeah. amount of time. It leaves a little bit of something. And it's not crazy. I mean, it's not. we're not talking like a coating level of hydrophobics, but it's, it's something. It's better yeah. than nothing. Uh, Demo says, um, it's going fast because Dane isn't there talking and talking as only Dane does. Yeah, we really are help. burning through some oh, of these comments. Jeez, Demo, I know you're trying and to start a war in these he's comments. He's right there. The oh, people Dane. who want to pay the least will complain the most. I learned this lesson a million times over in my 12 years of service retail, leading right up to the decade I've been here at TRC. That is true. The people who will pay the least always complain the most. And then, uh, Grant, children, you're all children. I get up at 4.30 every morning, including weekends. Grant, but what That's time good do you for go you, to Grant. bed? Are you one of the freaks that goes to bed when yeah. the sun's up still? Yeah, like Josh Petro's here every day at 3 a.m. Because he goes like, to bed at 7.30. Yeah. And I go, 7.30? The world is still running for like another eight hours after like you're in bed. But it's because he, cause he likes getting up so early. I think he likes being awake at that time. Dude, it's eerie. I don't like it. Yeah. I don't like it. I like when there's people people and movement and I feel like I still have stuff to do that's why I don't go to bed till like but, midnight so do you know there's like people that get off on like being early yeah and like knowing that they're there before anybody else is like it's a weird th- like, so I used to yes I used to enjoy that when I would go to my shop yeah there were certain Saturdays Matt and I used to do this if we had to work a Saturday what we did was we would come in at 5 a.m. yeah we would try and get there 4 30 5 a.m. on a Saturday morning bust out a couple cars, yeah. be out of there by 1030. So we'd spend like five hours working and then we'd be home and then you could go take a nap, you grab breakfast, whatever. And everybody's waking up at 1030 in the morning I'm, I'm, on a Saturday. I'm, I'm, trying, I'm saying this is deeper than that. But I felt there, that. No, there's like people, I enjoyed there's that people feeling, that think though. that they are superior to others. Oh, I get a, you get that, a taste. And when they, when they get up early, right? Because mm-hmm. they think that they are better than those people because they right. go, look at you. You weren't ready for the day. Mm-hmm. I'm here. I showed up and I'm ready to go. And they will like hold that to they, right. they I'm telling you, they like get off on that fact of knowing that they've beat you to the punch because in Correct. their head, there's like this internal, not internal, but there's like a competition of, hey, I'm ready to go. Why we're, 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 we're aren't you ready to go? And yeah. they'll like do that kind of stuff. It's weird, man. But I've met multiple people like this in my life who act this way and they're early risers. And I go, dude, this is natural for you. You enjoy doing this. And then you're going to shame me because mm-hmm. I like to sleep a little bit longer, right? This happens to Dane all the time. And if well, we get... also shame him. But we shame it's you him. and but I that we do shame it. him as people who also like to sleep in and also stay Well, late, yeah, we're really, right? we're, we're shaming him in the sense that we're waking up at eight but, and he's waking so up at nine. Gabe, for example, I'm yeah. not saying, D- Gabe isn't a shamer, but Gabe is definitely a person that does get off on getting up early, right? He does. And so what's funny though, is he, he goes, ah, oh, well, I was up at this time and I did this and I've already done this mm-hmm. for the day. And I go, Gabe, what time you go to bed? Well, I go to bed at normal time. I go to bed at like eight or nine. And then we mm-hmm. take him out for a night on the town. Yeah, you got to go to bed at midnight. We take him for a night out in the town. It's eight or nine. And he goes, oh, guys, I'm getting really tired. I'm like, well, what happened? You woke up so early. Yeah. I'm like, we got five more hours. Yep. I go, buck up. And he goes, I can't make it five more hours. And I go, drink this energy drink. And he goes, I don't drink energy drinks. And I go, you got to if you want to survive with yeah. us. We're raiding. We're, we're raiding right now. This is <laughs> this is the lifestyle that we live. And um, you I don't know. Put your back into the war. It ore. is funny that there is morning people who like have this weird superiority complex. And I don't like those people mm. generally. And no. I can think of one specifically in my head right now. But that would be rude to say. So let's move on. 
<laughs> Let's move on. All right. Um, so now I got to figure out where we are. Sorry, that was a whole rant about that. I'm sorry. That's about okay. That. It was like it was like there was like some internal things I was holding in that I needed to project. Just a couple to you I mean, guys on the weekend of love, and I, that shouldn't be the case. Keith Jackson saying I use PNS bead maker for the first time at the weekend. I now see why so many people love this product. It makes my red car pop. No, it's straight up, Keith. It does. It's nuts. Yep. It's nuts. Um, then Great Dane, and you're totally right, Demo. I just love to explore each question topic more than simply giving it a two second answer. And that Dane, there's nothing wrong about that. Uh, Ron says, I had a client who complained two weeks after I detailed his thrashed car. He drove his car for two weeks and he wanted me to give him a refund. I told him, no way. He's an ex-client now. I, yeah, dude, it's crazy how many people will do that. Yep. Um, Keith saying, hoping my wolf pack arrives tomorrow. Shock and horror. The weather forecast for Ireland is no rain this weekend. Wow. Ooh, Beautiful wow. sunny day. In the Sounds sweet amazing. Irish countryside. Can't wait to go. Very excited. Someday. Someday we'll Someday make Someday we'll there. make it over there. John Hole saying, good evening, gentlemen. Quick message for Anthony. Three weeks and the air fresheners oh are back. Oh, my God. So, John, this is your shirt. This is your so 2XL. We stick it on on You didn't. Yeah. Right. <laughs> that's all right. It'll, It'll be all right. It'll smell great. It'll wash it. Gets to you. But, yeah, this is your shirt that's sitting here. Uh, and then... Uh, Great Dane Films, Anthony's Evo isn't even a monthly driver. Dane, you don't know <laughs> that. But, uh, John, I am really excited about the air fresheners. Genuinely, I can't wait. Like, those are my favorite air fresheners. They're amazing. Duke's detail and saying, following on from my earlier question on the microfiber finishing pads, what you mentioned about matting down now makes sense. It is quite flat. There you go. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Uh Harry Housewife Bubbler does add a nice gloss. I'd say two to four days. It's very yeah. subtle, but it is noticeable. That's right. I'd agree. And then why wait? Saying, is it true that spraying fabric softener to hair and rugs helps lift the hair? Uh, yeah, but you can also get that effect with uh, any anti-static. So you can spray like you can spray quick, quick detailer, detailer yeah. glass cleaner. You can do all kinds of stuff, and it'll usually allow the lift the hair up a little more. Yeah. Uh, Gary saying, dang, late start. Store got absolutely slammed. TRC towels flying out the door. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> Look at that. Long Island detail supply. That's awesome. And then uh, Neil White says, I'm up at 4 a.m. because I can get a lot more work done. Oh, that's, well, it's not, that's, that's good. Not and like thing. I look at that, and I always try to do that. I think, yeah. how do I get more time out of my day? So I, I should get so up early. I, I, I physically can't. But I don't, I don't get work done. I, can I don't up, either. I can get up early, and I'll be like... Man, I just am not motivated, no. right? But 10:30 at night and I go, I think I'm going to wash my car. Yeah. Right? See, I can do that too. And then I can then I could be up until 1:30 and be like, "Ah, probably should go to bed now." Yeah. So I think it really is. It's probably a person to person thing, you know. And if I watch those videos of people saying, "Hey, do you want to be successful in life? You need to get up early every single day. You need to be the wolf in the pack. You need to be the person doing this." And I'm just like, "Yeah, man, I'm like I tried that." I did it for two years when I was working that job. I had to get up early every day. My body like rejected it. Like, it doesn't I didn't, work. I didn't feel good um, ever. I was – it was never a good feeling. And uh, I just had to accept See, that. See, I wake up me. at I wake up at 6.45 every morning. That's still pretty – yeah, it's still pretty early. That's when I wake up. Yeah. I go to bed at midnight. Yeah. I wake up at 6.45. Yeah. Some days I wake up at 7. <laughs> yeah. That's it. But – I don't come to work till nine, but I have to get my kids fed. I have to get them dressed. I have to get them ready. Like there's a lot that goes into it. Yeah. But I know that I can get up at that time. I don't like getting up at that time. I'd love to sleep in, but yeah. my children don't allow that. Yeah. So. All right. Glossy Bear. What's up, boys? Levi, you had me cracking up at this Monday's podcast talking about that trampoline park. Thanks, mm -hmm. man. Yeah, that's... I, so... Truth be told, I'm not a trampoline person. Yeah. I get motion sick. Yeah. Jumping up and down. Really? Just jumping up and down? <laughs> jumping up and down. I love jumping up and down. I, uh, burnt. Big I get spinning too. Nope. Can't do that either. I get too dizzy. Oh, so, missing out. Um, it's hard because my kids are always like, when we got our tramp, they're like, you should come out and jump with us. Uh, Dad doesn't like doing that. Sorry, guys. Yeah. Um, 
Fazal, my wife gets up around 4.30 but is in bed by 9. I'm the opposite. I'm up around 8 a.m. and in bed at 2.30 to oh, 3. I love that, Yeah, Fazal. dude, that's, like, that's how that's I roll, man. That's how to get man. the most out of life. It really yeah. is, I'm telling you. Yeah. Get the most out of it. You're up when the sun's up, right? Mm-hmm. But you're up, you're up into the late night hours where, you know, you could go out and do a lot of things that time of night. I used to go to the gym late at night. I love that. Go, you know, some people call it cruising. I call it looking for a friend. That's right. That's all it is. Yeah. Uh, Alex saying, the up early conversation reminds me of the dads having their families at the airport six hours before a flight. Now, I will say this. As a dad, I basically take over that role when we travel. That's true. I take it from Jeff. I pull it from Jeff Hennon. Yeah, that's true. That mantle. <laughs> and I state what time we need to be there. Well, Jeff has a horrible sense of time when it comes to anything airport related so that's okay but i do take that and so i see the need for that when you want to make sure especially when you're trying to get four to six people through different countries yeah and you want to make sure everybody's got their stuff and you want to try and make it as easy as possible so you don't have dane trying to put on his belt nine hours later right so i get that because you want to make sure that you're not stuck and you you anticipate the the anger and the hate and the aggression that the children are going to provide. So you yeah. want to try and maximize it by doing that. But the six hours is a little excessive. Yeah, it's just a little bit. Uh, we have Darren that says, I'm up at 4 a.m. every day. And that's because I haven't been to bed. <laughs> Sorry, nice, bud. Darren. Uh, Dane says, Fazal, you're my kind of people. And then uh, Franco saying, uh, Neil, what's up? Um. Kirby. Uh, that new shirt is the fit like all the other TRC shirts. Uh, I am wearing an older one, and it's so soft and comfortable. So this one's really soft and comfortable. It's very... Um, it's a different it's, brand. It's more of just a regular fit, right? It's not like super loose. It's not tight, um, but it just kind of just drapes naturally on you. And um, it says it's pre-shrunk. I did wash mine just to test it, and honestly... Um, shrunk five percent and my all my clothes shrink yeah. so i was very surprised to see that it was it held up to its, yeah. its same size so buy your correct size and rock it and i think you'll be good to go um dane says it's rare that i'm asleep before 1 30 to 2 30 a.m it's true right yeah so what dane funny, is and if you're not careful he will keep texting you me and way dane, past that me and dane we could be gaming at night right right and it could be 12 30 at night one o'clock in the morning almost sometimes right and we'll kind of be like, man, we probably, we probably should go to bed. And he goes, yeah, you know, we're going to hang out and talk. Or, you know, or, we want to play another game. And I go, oh, we can play a different game. It's funny to see that we're both on the same page. But I, in, my, in the back of my head, I know that if I don't go to sleep at a realistic time, then I'm probably going to screw myself for the next morning. So yeah. I got to call it at some point. But we do stay up pretty late together. Uh, Fido Fiber's only customer says, the older you get, the earlier you wake up, dot, dot, dot. Grant. Are you calling Grant old? <laughs> Neil says, a trick I learned years ago was to set up emails to go out at 2 a.m. to make coworkers think I was up working. <laughs> that's that's what I would do. Yeah. I would do, I that. do that. No, I do that. I still, do you? I, I'll usually, no, I sit in bed and I'll yeah. burn through a bunch of emails at like, midnight. Like you're a star employee. Yeah. And people are like, damn, I didn't know you were emailing me that. But, but, we but could, to be fair, Jeff Hennon does that Jeff, already. Jeff's up at four o'clock in the morning sending out emails. He's already right? doing that. And so like we can't one up anybody, especially Jeff. because And it doesn't help with us other coworkers because we all get the emails from Jeff at 3 a.m. Yeah, I know. For him. So, so. so like, good job. You're not <laughs> but as Jeff, I do that though. to other people. Yeah. Franco, great day and same here. But there's always one or two days a week where I sleep sleep for 14 hours to reset. Ooh, that sounds good. That sounds nice. John oh says, I will send gosh. you a care package as soon as I have them. John, inside the care package, can you please include a chocolate? I would love myself a nice Cadbury chocolate, please. There you go. What, what's your favorite Cadbury chocolate? Oh, my gosh. So many so of them. So I like the flake and the twirl. Yeah. I like the buttons. And I get... I do not like the buttons. I like the buttons, the little, like the little chocolate no. button, the dots. I don't like those dots. Those no. are nice. Um, I also like, uh, Augie loves the curly whirlies. Mm-hmm. Um, the other ones I like is I do like the flake. I do like the crunch. The, the twirl. You uh, like the, the twirl. The twirl. I like those. The crunch is also uh, very good. The caramello. Love that one. Yeah. The only ones we can get here is Cadbury solid bars and Cadbury 
Uh, I've never seen a Cadbury uh, solid bar. The solid bars are at Albertsons and all the stores. They have them. Really? Yeah. And then they have the they have the fruit and nut, which is gross. Oh. And then they <laughs> yeah. have the caramello so. bar. Yeah. But again, it's not the same. No, I as want the... that twirl and that flake. It just melts in your mouth. Oh, I remember. Yeah, Froggy. Yeah. The Froggers or Frogger. Froggy. Uh, or Freddy's. Fredo's? Fredo's. That's what they are. What are you saying? It's Cadbury Fredo's. They're like a, they're like a uh, frog guy, but it's what? a piece of Cadbury chocolate. I don't remember that. They're dope. Is it based off like a Harry Potter style theme? Basically. Chocolate frog? Yeah, it's chocolate frog. Speaking of which, I will not forget my chocolate frog this year when we go on a train in the United Kingdom. Oh. If we end up going on a train. Yeah. So we'll I'm see. Bring that with me. Uh, uh, Glossy Bear says, Thanks for giving me oh, and Justin. Sorry. Oh, thanks for giving me and Justin a couple of those air freshers when we came TW, T, to TWI Live. I did. I hooked him up with a couple did, of them. Yeah. And then Christine uh, saying, How do I get one of those tie dye hoodies? I don't know. Christine, you'll have to steal, it steal it off of Levi's back. That's the only. I mean, I mean <laughs> the only one available. It's the only one available. I'm not. I will not part with mine. It's used yeah. to my body. <laughs> Graham, Graham says, uh, "This coming Valentine's Day, my wife and I have lived together for 30 years. Impressive. Congratulations, Holy Graham. Smokes. And then, uh, Alex, I have a more. I'm more of a get up and work early and get off early person. But if the opportunity arises to buck up and stay up late, I can get it done." And then, uh, yeah, Hans, instead of fabric softener, use paint gloss. Yep. Grant says he goes to bed at 1030 to 11 p.m. every night. Good for you, man. Still kind of early. Redonkulous. Looking through my caddy's windshield, I did in diamond glass last weekend, and this has some super tight beads. It does. It's great. We're going to be redoing Jeff's window sometime in this next week because he got a new windshield. Uh, Grant says, get busy living or get busy dying. And if you're dying, make sure you die trying. There you go. Okay. I can Uh, do that. Keith, Anthony, I'm a bit late, but your comment about people who get off on being early, we call those people premature departures. <laughs> that's funny. Oh, that's uh, funny. Alex A. and Anil, setting up time scheduled emails in the corporate world is the biggest passive aggressive flex. I love it. Uh, yeah, that is a, it is a super passive aggressive flex. <laughs> John, you got it. A flake, twirl, buttons, crunchy, mm. and Fredo the Frog incoming. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, and then Neil, Alex Dwar, most of the time I was trying to troll people. And the Harry Housewife says, Fredo's have been around pre-Harry Potter. That's what we're saying. We think really? it's a, it's in so reference was, so to that. So was that a reference to that? Probably. It's, it's a chocolate frog. Gotcha. Okay. So so real quick side tangent, because we're only at 336 right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I don't know about you. My wife is a fan of Harry Potter, right? No, mm-hmm. oh, I'm a big fan of Harry she's Potter. She's enjoyed the Harry we Potter. Bought the, we started buying the illustrated books. Oh, cool. The big ones, like they're like this big and they're like giant Yeah, to read to the kids. I, I mean, I read them when I was a kid. I made it to the third book and then I realized I'm like this ty- this amount of reading just isn't for me, right? Well, you're not a reader. I'm not a reader, man. I'm, I'm not. So I, uh, but I, I was a little bit into my wife read all the books, right? She multiple times watched all the movies. I asked her last night. I said, hey, because I was talking about the video game that just came out. I said, hey, would you judge me if I started playing the new Hogwarts video game, right? Mm-hmm. And she goes... Are you do you like Harry Potter? And I go, well, I mean, watch the movies, mm-hmm. some of them, right? And it got good reviews. And I said, question for you: If you were to give me, if you were the sorting hat, and you were to put me in a a, in a, cl- a clan, it's a house, a it's clan, called a house. You were to put me into a cult. Nope. A house. If you were to put me into a gang okay, of Harry sure. Potter mm-hmm. people, right? Where am I landing? Mm-hmm. And she said that she's like, honestly, I don't know. And I said. What, like, is there one that stands out to you? And she goes... I think you're a Ravenclaw. So it's funny you say that, right? That's what she told me. After I I kept just poking at her, Mm -hmm. she says, fine, I think you're a Ravenclaw. I'm like, what does that mean? I'm like, is that pretty good compared to everybody else? Pretty good, yeah. And she was just like, yeah, there's no famous people like that were in that, you know, that you would know. Like myself, I'm I'm in Gryffindor. And so... What was funny is that she told me that. I said, thank yeah. God. I'm glad you didn't give me Hufflepuff because I yeah. hate that Dane, name. Dane would probably be in Hufflepuff. Dane would be a Hufflepuff. And Gabe would but, be a Slytherin. Absolute 100%. But then I told Katie, I said, you know what, Katie? I think that you would be a Gryffindor. And she said, mm-hmm. that's the kindest thing you've ever said to me. Right. And I said, really? Very nice. And she goes, that that means a lot. She literally almost had a tear rolling down her eye. Wow. And I said, that is that good of a compliment? Apparently it is. Wow. You're going to have to get her some Gryffindor Dude, you stuff. you got to just go to people, Harry Potter people and just start giving them compliments and saying that they're good enough to be in Gryffindor. And they're going to just love it. 
<laughs> that's, how my, that's how my Valentine's yeah. Day is going to start. Yeah, I'm that's just, just getting some Gryffindor stuff. <laughs> Get her a scarf. Play dress up or something. <laughs> yeah. You know, who knows? Uh, anyway. I love that. All right, Graham asking, can we take chocolates back home with you? Yes, we can. Just load up our suitcases, man. That's all we got to do. Yeah. Um, I think when we came back from Waxhaw, that's literally what we did. I loaded up on chocolates. It was yeah. crazy. Did did we bring some home with us? Mm-hmm. I remember sitting in a hotel eating chocolates. We had chocolates. We had a lot of chocolates. We had a lot of chocolates. Yeah. Like, like, and then we went to the grocery. We went to the store and also bought some, I thought. Where did we go? Oh, maybe it was another country we did that. Oh, it was in, no, you weren't with me. In Germany, I did that with yeah. Dane. Okay, okay. I started on the way back from Italy. I started buying candy and chocolates. Nice. Uh Sahij, hey y'all, do you have any throw, do you have to throw away your towels after using Una Advance? No, soak them. Just soak them in, in, in rags to riches and throw them in the wash. There's yep. not enough, it's not a not that type of ceramic. Yeah, you can usually bring them back to life. Why wait auto details? So what do you guys think of the show, Dirty Old Cars? So two of our best friends are on it. Yeah. That's, yeah, very good friend. You know, uh, Jamie Buchanan, nicest guy in the absolute world. And then Noxie, who you've seen on our One Wing Challenge and and uh, been in a number of TRC FAQ videos and is one of the owners of KXK. Um, both amazing dudes. Have I watched the show yet? No, I have not. I don't have the History Channel. Yeah. So I haven't seen any episodes. I haven't seen it. I don't have the History Dane Channel watched either. it. He liked it. Gabe watched it. He liked it. Gabe um, just lives on the History Channel. He does. He does. That's all Gabe. So when we is it Gabe, you've been watching all the new shows. He goes, is it on the History Channel? And we're like, no. Is it on the Discovery Channel? We're like, no. Is and it on he Motor goes, Trend? Yeah, is it on Motor Trend? No. He goes, hmm, probably haven't seen it. Are those the only channels you have, Gabe? He goes, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. No, but that's uh, – I'm excited for the fact that they're actually showing detailing, even if it's in a small light. Yeah, they're showing what can be done, and most people don't ever think about this stuff, and that's yeah. the number one thing that we try to uh, always try to show and teach people. So, yeah. uh, we got Ronnie out laughing, and then he said, "Gang detailers come out and play." Uh, oh my god, Anthony would be in the new Portuguese house, newest <laughs> house of Hogwarts, where all the spells include crack and VTech. <laughs> It would include big <laughs> pots of Portuguese beans and then just constant amount of VTech, right? They'd be like, God, do we have to do this all the time? Accio VTech. Yeah. Stefan saying, is there a chemical way to remove and wear out six-month-old G1 so that I can apply Dinoflex? I'm trying to avoid mechanical polishes working outside. Thanks. Not really, Stefan. The best way to remove it is by machine rubbing it off. Literally. That's it. Uh, you can try some high pH or some acid uh, soaps, but you're not going to be able to break that. G1 is a very strong coating. Uh, honestly, your best bet is to really just try and buff it off. Yeah. Uh, Sahij, thank you for the last answer. Also, is it all right to polish headlights? As long as you protect them afterwards with something like coating, such as diamond body. Lastly, is Uno Advanced fine on trim? Uno Advanced is fine on trim. It's mm-hmm. not going to not gonna do anything crazy. Um, but as far as putting diamond body on... on you could coat a headlight. You can, you can use a, a headlight. coating on a headlight. Yeah. It's not going like, to give you the longevity. Yeah, there's just... Guys, As clear there's, or there's PPF. No, there's no coating out there that's going to... Even, even the new PNS... Um, um what's it called oh my gosh I lucid remember. lucid like it's it's better than nothing 100 percent. it's better than nothing but there's nothing that's going to permanently protect it or protect it for as long as 2k clear or ppf film um polish it out get it perfect ppf it or polish it or just sand it and then shoot it with 2k i've been seeing so many videos me too on 2K? like people just 2k clear 2k clear and i go dude 2K clear is amazing. It really is, but it's not going to be the answer to every headlight, right? No. There's so many headlight problems that can happen, whether it's you know, internal it's cracking, internal cracking. It's micro, it's micro cracking. Maybe it's dirt or dust inside. Maybe the inside is starting to oxidize. There's so many other problems that doesn't get fixed at 2K clear. But I do love watching all the videos where it's just like 2K clear change this headlight. And I go, dude, you're shooting that outside on a dusty day. I, know I saw a not... dude doing it on a Porsche 911, but he yeah. had the whole Porsche wrapped in plastic yeah. except for the headlights. And I was like, that is way too much time for those headlights. Yeah. 
Yeah. It's, now, it's kind of funny. But. Really, you can do this. And I talked about this at uh, Mobile Tech. There's a thing that uh, um, when the downturn hit in 2008, one thing we realized was that we could do do headlights yeah. faster. Really fast. And dealerships weren't willing to give out a car for a detail, but they were willing to give out a car for headlights, but they didn't want it leaving the dealership. So what we would do is we built these little kits and we charge 50 bucks for a set of headlights but we found we could get it done in less than 20 minutes. And yeah. so we would run in there, we would knock out headlights. And at the time, we just had like a wipe on coating that we got that yeah. we would wipe on. It was really gross. And I think it only lasted a year. But the dealerships, it didn't care. We were trying to figure out revenue for the detail shop. And when you go from detailing 15 cars a day to zero cars a day or one car a day, and you've got a lot of employees and you're trying to figure out how to handle that, that it gets scary. So what we found was they had, they still had 25 cars that needed headlights. Yeah. They had one car that needed detail and 150 bucks for one car to detail. That's not enough. So we found we could do headlights on all those cars. So we could still make six, 700 bucks a day at each lot. Yeah. And we were only able to, we were spending far less time and it worked out really well because we just started going to all our accounts saying, hey, we can do headlights for you if you need. We could yeah. do some spot buffing. We started figuring out what we could do that was cheaper. So we'd still get access to be on the lot and work on something, but we didn't have to do a whole car. Um, and we that survived us through the downturn in yeah. 2008. Um, so learn headlights and learn how to do that stuff. Um, so you can get better on it. Sorry about that, Shahiz. I put that same one up there. Mythical, sure. Hey, Anthony, I just left for Dutch and saw a bunch of minivans parked within inches of your car. You should probably move it. It's not true, Glenn. Thanks, Glenn. Kevin Monzone saying, Levi Anthony, if you have to pick the best drying aid between Beadmaker, Dreammaker, or a mix of both, 10 to 1, 10 parts of Beadmaker to one part of Dreammaker, and which towel to choose? So I really like the small 1212 gauntlet. It's one of yeah. my favorite towels. Um, I've started using that also for compound and polish removal. It's actually pretty rad. Really? Um, but that's my, that's mine for a drying aid. I really like that little towel. Yeah. Uh, or the smaller gauntlet, the 1624 gauntlet. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I mean, like, honestly, I just use Dream Maker today. Love it. Um, Clean Maker is also amazing. Also, love, I just, I love them all. I mean, I think they're all great. And Jamie's job with mixing those two together was sweet. A great job with that. Um, but which towel... Dude, I just, I just love the liquidator. Mm -hmm. I just love it. I think it's just a great towel. I bought, I, I, bought, I bought three more last week. Did you know that? Uh -oh. I need I, to buy new ones. I, I am, gave a couple away. I'm at that point where I'm cycling my towels again. Mm -hmm. I'm saying, hey, this is done. Dead. It's, 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 I can bring it back, yeah. but I'm, I'd rather give it to people. I gave two away. gauntlets to Wayne. Did you? He's okay. using them as floor mats in his new truck. That's not good. It's not what those oh, are for. It's fine. They're dead towels. Oh, no, they're dead. Okay. Graham says, uh, so Anthony mentioned Sonex in last weekend's Q&A. What's the, what have you been using? I used their ceramic shampoo and ceramic spray sealant on the the TT last weekend. I'm not using a whole lot of Sonex, to be honest, but I'm, the in my previous experiences with Sonex, um, I thought all their products were pretty great. Um, like I said, the spray and spray and seal was really good, or spray, yeah, spray and seal was really good. Uh, and then uh, B, that's their, that's their, not B. It starts. What's their What's their quick detailer called? Why can't I think of it? The blue stuff. Mm. The blue stuff. I the thick know. stuff. I don't remember off the top of my head. Uh, Sorry, uh, I can't remember what the. Somebody help me out here. It's the the quick detailer spray. Brilliant, not brilliant. Something. What the heck? I can't think of the dang name. Anyway. Anyways, I cut it one to one with distilled water. It's a pretty good product. Great. Um, but yeah, I'm not using it all the time. It's just I have had experience with it. Uh, Franco says their caramel is worth killing for, and then. Keith says, yes, Fredo is a winner that everyone loves. So it's just True. a frog. It's a chocolate frog. It's a chocolate-shaped stand-up frog. That's all it is, just pure milk About chocolate. About that big. Yeah. About that wide. Yeah. And Hollow? not very thick. Hollow? No, not really. A little bit, but not much. Hmm. Very delightful. You'll see when you get it. John will make sure you get Brilliant it. Shine Brilliant detail. shine detailer. There it is. Okay, BSD. Jeez, there it is. Thank you, John. BSD is great. Once I cut it one to one with distilled water, and mm. I got more bang for my buck, which was nice. Yeah, it's just the viscosity is just too thick, mm. um, and I didn't like how thick it was. But yeah, and then I don't know, I don't know. I then I, oh, Sonex is a great wheel cleaner as well. I like. Mm. They all got Sonex. great products. Sonex, Sonex has, a, is a great line. Uh, Franco, 
Levi, Aunt Dane, have you guys ever polished the haziness out of a driver and passenger side windows all the time? Mm-hmm. Almost every time I detail a car, that's usually what I do. If it has really bad, if there's haziness, if there's the scratches from going up and down, I just try to buff it out to make it a little better. Yeah. Just Sometimes I'll use just advanced or protect. Yeah. Do you ever throw any little clarity cream? If it's really bad, yeah. yeah. I'll use clarity cream. I like clarity cream a lot. I think it's good. I need to do my windows actually soon with clarity cream. I need to pick myself up a pick myself up a bottle. Mm-hmm. It's good stuff. I need a new bottle. I've got the old when it was like nine fourteen or whatever it was called. Yeah. Uh I got the old bottle. That wasn't called nine one fourteen, but But you know what I mean. It's like yeah, something it was a like co- that. Code name. It was a code name of like a glass before it was clarity cream. But I have the big thirty two ounce of it and I'm like halfway through it, but I lost the lid. Yeah. So it and just stays open in my garage. Darren says they did a caramel version of the Fredo. Do they have a like a nutty? Um, like does does um, what's it called? What's it, what chocolate company we're talking about right Cadbury. now? Cadbury. Cadbury. Does Cadbury experiment with nuts at all? Yeah, they have like a fruit and nut version. They I have fruit like fruit and nut. Like, but do they do the same thing with nuts that Hershey does? Possibly. Like peanuts. Like, Maybe you know, you know like those good bars. I yeah. love good bars with peanuts in it. I love. Ch- uh, Hershey's with almonds, Mm -hmm. but I mean, Hershey's generally not my favorite chocolate. Never has been my favorite chocolate. Hershey's is one of my favorites, but I, but you like Hershey's more than Cadbury? No, I like Cadbury more than Hershey's, but I don't like Nestle chocolate. So speaking of chocolates, it means Valentine's Day. Mars chocolate's okay. So Valentine's Day's coming up, right? Yeah. You know what I'm not doing? I'm not getting Sherry's berries because it's a freaking scam. Well, that's why you've got Tony's berries. I've got Tony's berries, right? I told my wife about me potentially making her some chocolate covered berries. She was uninterested because she constantly relates the berries to the mm-hmm. wings and she goes, I don't want your the wings touching the berries. Yeah. Like it's unrelated. It's just you know, a berry shop. She wasn't a big fan of that, right? So I'm thinking for chocolates. Yes, Franco. What is do. your other favorite romantic chocolate? Do you like do you like what's one of those called? Truffles? No. Not a truffle person. I'm a truffle person in the sense that I'll eat them, but it's nothing that I'm like, this is romantic. I'm not that guy. I'll just eat chocolate anytime. I will do the truffle shuffle for truffles. I love truffles. Yeah. They are rich. They get, they, I'm a new, I like a mint. I just like a mint truffle, but I like to sit and just watch TV and unwrap those and just eat those. So do you know like the round truffles? Those are Mm -hmm. really good. Like the Lindor. The Lindor truffles are very good. Yeah. I like Um, Lindor truffles. I think those are, they're delicious. Yeah. But I eat them just to eat them. Yeah. It's not a, Okay. Nothing for a romantic action. Box of Hershey, a box of C's candy. What's that do for you? Just it's candy. Do you like C's? Yeah. I like C's because you can go in there and they give you a sample. I'm a big fan of their suckers. Their lollipops. I love their lollipops. Those yeah. are all... I haven't had one forever. Remember I used to pack some every trip? Yeah. I still do. Yeah. I haven't been to a C's. I think I have one in my bag. <laughs> but as far as Valentine's Moment. Day chocolate ideas, mm. most people opt for the truffle. Some people go for edible arrangements. Some people go for um, chocolate-covered strawberries. Other people go for uh, maybe just a couple candy bars. Mm-hmm. I don't. I don't know what I'm doing this year. I don't know. My wife's simple. She likes Reese's. There you go. She just Get loves Reese's. Reese's. She loves you don't have to worry about Reese's it. Reese's and Butterfingers. I mean, that's pretty easy for me. Cheap, too. Uh, Grant says top deck fre- Freddo's. And then uh, Harry Housewife says not so many nuts. Only seen the fruit and nut and the hazelnut. Mm. And then Franco says, what about them schnozberries? We get down some schnozberries. And then uh, Kirby replying to Franco saying PNS Clarity Cream for glass. You can pick it up on our thing. Uh and then Christine says, Anthony, I feel you on the chocolate truffles. I would do some things for Godiva truffles. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, I could see that. Lady Godiva. Mm-hmm. I could see that. Diva into these truffles. Gonna am I right? Diva into these truffles. Yeah. Uh, Harry Housewife says, a massive thank you guys for another Thursday evening of entertainment, tips, advice, helping me through an evening of editing. And then Franco saying, ah, oh, thank, thanks, Kirby. Didn't have to say hello to you. Neil White says Godiva truffles mixed with vanilla ice cream is okay. Have, have, All right, so have, now we're talking about something a little more high end I have than what I'm normally used to. I so I would say I could understand a Godiva. I'm intrigued. I'm my also interest is intri- peaked. Intrigued. We're yeah. gonna have to pick up some. Maybe you and I have some on our Tuesday podcast. We feed each other. We, we can feed each other some Godiva right truffles. Yeah, some stuff. Sounds nice. Thank you for the uh, the uh, idea, everybody. And then, uh, Franco, what pad for Clarity Cream? Anything you want. Yeah. Really doesn't matter. I like the, just the yellow Rupa's wool. Mm-hmm. Levi likes the blue, blue hybrid. Course. Yeah. yeah, blue course. 
Jamie the Cleaner says, I got a wisdom teeth getting surgically removed on Valentine's Day. There you go, Jamie. Holy smokes. Really excited about it. That, he says he's gonna. It's really gonna interfere in my preparation for the Big Judd's All American Burger no, Challenge. No, it won't, Jamie. Don't, don't you say that. Don't worry about it. You'll be you'll, you'll be, be healed you'll, by you'll then. You'll be recovered by that. However, with that said, don't get a dry socket. It'll ruin your life. I had it. It ruined my life for like a month or two months. It was it's when I quit smoking. Was when I got my wisdom yeah. teeth pulled. It was the worst experience I've ever had. Was I had two dry sockets and. Never again. Yeah. My dentist thoroughly, or uh, orthodont or whatever, whoever pulled the teeth, Yeah, he goes, you smoke cigarettes? And I said, I do. I'm, I'm back about half yeah. a pack a day. I'm down to about half a pack. I, yeah. And he's like, what would you used to smoke? I said, I was a three pack a day menthol man. Yeah. And he goes, so you're down to 10, about 10 cigarettes a day? I said, yeah. And he goes, you ever think about quitting? Yeah. And I said, sometimes. And he goes, if you smoke... You will die. <laughs> you will get dry socket. <laughs> oh. And I said, well, I don't want that. And yeah. he's like, maybe think about quitting. And yeah. I said, mm, maybe I'll think about it. And I did. I literally quit Man, that, after it, that, it, after getting my teeth pulled. That's, I mean, that'll that's do it. How I dry did sockets it. will ruin your life. Uh, here we go. We got John Gorecki. Gorecki says, hey, guys, thanks for all the information you guys provide. I have some extra diamond wheels and diamond glass left over. What else can I use these on? Can I use them on the side mirrors? I wouldn't... Uh, probably use some on the side mirrors you on could. the glass. Mm-hmm. Uh, for the wheels, you could use it on your exhaust. If you had an exhaust tip that you want to throw it on, you could do that. Maybe you want to coat your suspension components, maybe. Um, anything would be great for that. Uh, Daytona Wallace says Lindor truffles were nothing. There you go. Daytona, that's, it's a cheap option, right? It's affordable. Buy it in bulk. Delightful at Costco. Bag. It's mm-hmm. delightful. Uh, Darren says to all whom watching smash and uh, smash that like button and subscribe. Uh, these guys massively deserve it. And a massive thank you for giving me the title of heart of tears. You're welcome brother. You dry, deserve it. Dry socket is nasty with my, my wife is in dentistry. Oh, oh man. Wow. I've heard so many horror stories. Oh man. It's the worst. Yeah. And then yo, her all late to the party saying, yo, what's yeah, up, dude? Yeah, How did, are you yeah, guys? Didn't show up today. Dane. No, Mr. Oh. G. Davis. G. Davis again. I think, though, he might be phytofiber. I don't think he's phytofiber. Do you think he's, he's being the man in the I cape? No, I think he. I think he's got like three other wives now. Oh. Who knows? You never know. G is a man of culture, I guess. <laughs> That's what he would call it. Oh, uh, Graham says, have you guys tried matchmakers? No, we have not. No, we haven't. Haven't heard of that one. So anyway, uh, we've got three minutes left, everybody. Han saying thanks, guys. We appreciate you guys tuning in. So, as always, remember, we've got the sale going on through yep. the 13th. So, uh, 25% off on select brands. You can pick up the shirt yep. until it's sold out. You can pick up uh, any of the going out pack, the go, the staying in pack. You can even pick up Stekata with a nice little pack mm-hmm. of baby Eaglets. eagles. Yep. And if you give your best pickup line, you have potential. We are giving away a number of Chanette bottles. Stiarna Gloss Chanette, you have to give your best pickup line to the people in shipping for them to choose you and give you a free bottle of Chanette. So uh, yeah. something pretty cool. Um, John says, uh, Ethel M chocolates are the best. Hmm. And Kevin saying, very late, guys. It's been a hellacious week. I'll catch the replay. Thank you, man, for tuning in. And then Graham says, something else for Wax Sock. Ooh, matchmakers. Ooh, matchmakers. I like that. Okay. Very nice. So, uh, gosh, that's it. I think we closed it down yeah. a little early. We're going to wrap it up. I think we're so, all right. Anyways, everybody, um, thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for hanging out here. Make sure to check out the sale at the ragcompany.com. Score yourself a sticker, some swag, some custom kits that we've made. These stickers are really are sweet, though. I think you'll, you'll really like them. So, um, as usual, if you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure to give this video a like so other people can see it. Subscribe down below for more TRC podcast content. And we will see you next Tuesday for the main show. Have a great weekend. See you guys. See you.